This is breaking news, and on the agenda is a story about a mysterious man who is infecting people with an unknown virus. People are starting to behave atrociously, and the main thing is that there is still no cure. Something strange is happening in our village again, and what's the point of infecting people with a strange virus? I don't know, JJ, but I think we need to be more careful now. It's true. I don't want to behave like an animal, especially not to be cured of it. I think everything will be fine, and soon this criminal will be caught. I doubt it, of course. Stop! Stop worrying. People like that are very easy to catch. Let's go to school now. The important thing is not to be late. It's true. I don't even know what's worse. Being late or getting the virus. Of course it's infected, JJ. What are you talking about? That was meant as a joke, Mikey. Oh, all right. I thought you really don't know what's worse, and you're asking me that. Here we are at our favorite school, JJ. Well, you exaggerated a bit, of course. As usual, we'll be sitting around for hours in boredom. I think today is going to be something interesting for sure. I have a huge urge to go to class. I don't know why you think that. There hasn't been anything interesting on here for years. Stop being a bore and just go inside. I don't mind going there. It's our duty and we can't miss it. That's great. Oh, look what's on the board. What do you mean? Just look at this board and you'll understand everything. That's right, I see it. Guys, make sure you do what it says. It's very important for us. If everyone does this, we will definitely be happy and will continue to delight you with videos. You got that right, Mikey. I think everyone understands us. Now we can go study. Of course, our viewers never let us down and always make us happy. Then let's not waste time and go already or we'll be scolded again now. I think the teacher is late again anyway. That's what we're going to find out, JJ. So what's up, Mikey? You were right, she's not here. That's great. Then let's sit down like we've been here since the beginning. You and I are so sneaky, I love it. You and I are just smarter than everyone else, Mikey. Oh, looks like she's here. Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late. I had very good reasons for not being on time. We know those reasons. She just overslept, that's all. I think so, too. It's ridiculous. We have a new girl on our big school staff. This is the new nurse who will help you if you have any health problems. Come on in and meet the class. All right, now. Hello, everyone. I'm your new nurse now. Hopefully, we can become friends and interact well with each other. I think with a hottie like that, we should definitely find common ground. You're right. This is getting interesting. We have very friendly and good kids, so you don't have to worry. I don't even doubt it. I can see how awesome and wonderful they are. Wow, is that us she's talking about? I don't know, JJ, but look how beautiful she is. I've seen it. Oh, my God, I haven't seen her figure yet. She's great. I think I'm in love with her, JJ. I can't take my eyes off her. It's true. I'm just excited to be in school. I told you there'd be something interesting tonight. You were absolutely right, Mikey. I hope you and I can find common ground and be friendly with each other, too. She doesn't even realize how friendly we are to her. Of course we have to meet her after class is over. Yeah, JJ, we gotta show her we're the coolest. In the meantime, we need to sit here and learn. How can you think about studying when we have such a beautiful nurse at school? I don't know myself, to be honest, but there's nothing to do. We've got a long way to go. It's true. We have at least three more hours to listen to her. Three hours later. God, it's finally over. I just want to get home soon and go to bed. It's true. It's so exhausting just sitting in class. There are so many fun things to do at home. It's true. We need to get there soon and cheer ourselves up. Let's not waste time. Let's go home, Mikey. JJ, wait, stop. Uh, what's up, Mikey? We totally forgot about our new nurse. We wanted to stop by after school and talk to her. We should go to her office and show her we're the cool guys. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow, Mikey. What if she quits or finds someone cooler than us? There's no time to lose. Yeah, you're probably right, Mikey. Of course I'm right. It's gonna be a real shame when she goes out with some other guy. All right, Mikey, let's go see her. I totally agree with you. I'm really excited about it. Let's go hit on her. It'll be fun. We're getting very close. Get ready to look at that gorgeous figure. I already can't wait for this. Of course I'm ready, Mikey. I really hope she's in there. Yes, it would be a real shame if she had already gone home. Then let's open the doors and see if she's there. I agree, Mikey. Let's go. Whoa, JJ, she's here. Yes, Mikey, we are very lucky. Now we can watch how great she is with her figure. I think I fell in love with her again. I would do anything to see her every day. I don't know what I'm feeling inside me, but I'm pretty sure I'm experiencing total pleasure. I totally agree with you, JJ. Let's just stand there and admire her. Am I imagining things? Oh, what are you guys doing here? We're just here to chat with you. We're very happy to have you working here and would love to be around you. Yes, it's true. There has never been and never will be such a beautiful girl in our school. Is this 
just some kind of new trick at your school. No, of course we're telling the whole truth. We really think you are very beautiful and want to admire you. You guys are so funny. Thank you for saying that. We have you to thank for being in our school. That's all very nice, but I'm a little busy. Could you come back another time? All right. Well, when do we get there? Come back tomorrow. I'm busy all day today. And tomorrow you'll be free to spend time with two lovely guys? Yeah, sure. But don't bother me today. We'll talk tomorrow. All right. We'll look forward to seeing you. Yeah, that girl is beautiful. It's true, Mikey. I hope she didn't fool us. And indeed, we do have a good time tomorrow. Let's get out of here so we don't be intrusive to her. Now we can go home in good spirits and spend time there. Especially since the weather is very nice there. We can even go for a walk. It's like I've gotten a second wind on doing things, too. It's true. We just have love in us. Quiet. I think the nurse is out. That's right. Look, she went somewhere. Apparently to continue doing her chores. We have another opportunity to look at this beautiful figure. It's true. Especially since it's like she's purposely going as slow as possible, so we have time to enjoy it. Not much time anyway, Sad. We can definitely go home now. Don't you want to know what she's up to? Let's go see. Do you think it's the right thing to do? Sure. We'll just see what she's so busy doing, and then we'll go home. There's plenty of time anyway. It really is. We'll still be spending a lot of time at home anyway. Good for you, JJ. I'm glad you're listening. Then you'll agree to come in? Yeah, Mikey. Let's hurry up and do it before she comes back. Wow. Look at all the fun stuff in here. It's like a lab. Yeah, she must be pretty smart. Then you look in this part of the room for something interesting, and I'll look in the other. All right, let's see what she's doing here. Wow, there's some kind of potion in here, and it says, don't touch it. Mikey, look what I found. It's something illegal. Let you try it then. I think it will be very interesting what it does. What if it's something dangerous? Definitely not. Rather try it out and see what happens to you. How's that? How do you feel? Wow, that's really weird. I'm ready to destroy all the people and objects around me. Jesus, JJ, what happened to you? Don't socialize with me or get in my way. I just want everything in the county to be destroyed. JJ, man, please calm down. I told you again not to say anything. Everything annoys me. I'll break everything in the neighborhood. I don't like any of it. Please stop. We're going to get cussed out over this. I don't give a damn about anyone who says anything to me. I'll beat them up completely. Who asked you to drink what I have on me? We're gonna get you right now. Let me go or I'll get out myself and you'll get punched in the face for tying me up. What do we do with him now? I don't know, Mikey. I don't have any idea how to fix him yet. I'll say it again. Either you let me out now, or you will regret it very much later. Friend, please calm down. We will cure you soon. He's going to have to be very patient because there is no cure for this yet. You can't get rid of me. I'll kill you all. Wait, so you're the person who invented a virus that can't be cured? Honestly, yes, there is no way to cure it. So the police are looking for you? So JJ's gonna be like this forever and there's no cure? We should call the police and have you locked up in jail. Hang in there, JJ. I'm bringing help to you. Mikey, wait, don't, please. Just let me out of here and everyone will regret living in this world. I don't want to lie here tied up. God, what have I done? What was it all for? Now I have to do something to help JJ. You don't have to do anything to help me. Just let me out. No, JJ, I'll help you. I'll bring you a special remedy and you'll love me for life just as much as I love you. I don't want anything. I don't want to love anyone. Let me out or you'll be very hurt. That's it, JJ. I'm gonna give you a shot and we'll be together forever. It's probably not what you wanted, but unfortunately, there's no other way. I don't need to do anything. Just let me out. It's better for you. I won't leave you in the lurch. Prepare to love me for the rest of your life. Five minutes later. Hurry up and get over here. That criminal is definitely here. We need to catch her before she goes anywhere. Hurry up and show me. Here it is. Oh my god, what's going on here? They seem to be in love with each other and socializing. I'm so glad we're together now. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm glad I met you too, love you. And I love you very much. You're the most beautiful girl on this planet. I'm very lucky. Don't move. You're under arrest for making potions and poisoning people with them. What? Don't. That's my favorite girl. She first poisoned him with an evil potion, and now she purposely made him fall in love with her. No, you don't have to do anything. I just love her. No talking. You're going to jail for this. Don't take her anywhere. She didn't do anything. JJ, it's her fault. Please calm down. What are you doing? Don't take her. She's my life. JJ, wait for me to come out of prison, please. I love you. No, don't go. I can't live a day without you. We'll get through this. I'll find a way to help you, honey. She deserves to go to jail, JJ. Please calm down. Let's go home and play on the computer and spend some time together. So you think I'd trade my love for some computer? No, JJ. She's not your love. She's just some virus inside you. So you're saying I'm cheating? You don't believe me? 
me? It's your fault. You brought the cop who took her here. I'll kill you for this. What? No, JJ, don't. Please, just calm down and hear me. I don't want to listen to you. This is your fault. I don't want to see you anymore. JJ, we're going to fix you and you're going to be fine. Just calm down now, please. It's love and there's no cure. And you want to cut us off and you've already done it. Just bear with me. You're angry now, but it'll get better. No! One day later. It's so frustrating and sad that I can only see my favorite JJ in a picture. He's so handsome and wonderful, but he doesn't pay attention to me at all. But he's still my top favorite for life. I will never forget him and would do anything to be together with him. It would be just great if JJ would admit his own feelings for me. But unfortunately, he just doesn't love me and doesn't want to be with me. I need to think of something and I don't even know what to do. Maybe my mirror can tell me what I need to do. Mirror, tell me, what can I do to get back together with JJ? Because I'm completely out of ideas. You're a witch who does potions and weird stuff. Just take advantage of that and make JJ fall in love with you. That's right, I should have thought of that. Thank you so much. I knew there was something I could do. Then I need to go make this potion soon. The main working potion. A few moments later. Hey guys, you don't mind where I am. I just haven't found the right place to say hello. Ouch. God, why did they do such a terrible job of renovating this house? I'm in the middle of all my more morning routines here, showing you my most ordinary morning on my most ordinary day. Since I don't have any plans, I'm just going to rest and do nothing. Still, the renovations aren't really that bad. I just have to make a proper restroom myself. But that's later. First, I plan to look in the fridge and get something to eat, and then I'll just sit back and watch TV. I'm generally happy with everything in that regard. I'll have a golden apple. It's very healthy and delicious. Now I'm just going to go and sit on the couch. It's been a long time time since I've watched a cartoon. So glad there are days like this where you don't have to go anywhere. You just sit back, relax, and enjoy life. Especially since my favorite SpongeBob series is on. All in all, I'm very happy. Oh my God, that call scared me. I wonder who's calling and what they want. Hi, I'm listening to you. JJ, it's our seventh anniversary today. I'm throwing a party to celebrate. Come on over. Wow, I didn't even know. Great, I'd love to come. Then let's hurry up because all the guests are almost here. Okay, Mikey. I hear you. I'll be at your place soon. I'm very excited, JJ. I'm waiting. Even though I didn't get to just sit around and watch cartoons, Mikey is my best friend, and I'm glad he's throwing a party in honor of our friendship. I then throw away the finished apple and head straight over there so I don't waste any time. I wonder who he invited to this party. It's all about having fun. Here I am at Mikey's house. JJ, I can hear you. You're finally here. All the guests are already gathered and waiting for you. I'm really glad you decided to celebrate our friendship. It's a pleasure. Let's go inside now. We don't have time to waste. Let's have fun already. I'm just happy about it, Mikey. But I can't help but notice how beautifully you've set up your home. It's true. You just haven't been here in a while. I actually set it up like this a long time ago. That's awesome. You did a good job. I still can't get it done well in my place. Okay, JJ. Why don't you just go in and see what's inside? All right, Mikey. Wow, that's a lot of guests you got, and what a beautiful job you did. Yes, JJ. All these people are here to congratulate us and have fun. Thank you so much for coming today. You are our very best friends, and we are very happy that you have been friends together for so long. It's true. We're very happy to be here with you. Let's have some fun already, JJ. Stop just standing around watching. I agree. You just don't know how happy I am to see you all here. You can choose what you want to eat and drink, JJ. Enough of this sweet talk. I agree. I can see you really did prepare very well for this party. There's a lot of stuff here. You can play, watch cartoons, do whatever you want, JJ. It's all yours. Okay, Mikey, thank you so much. I'm gonna go find something to drink. Not much choice to drink, but everything is delicious. JJ, I've already taken care of you and found something to drink. It's a very tasty morsel. Wow, thank you so much. Did you make this yourself? Of course, I went to great lengths to make you feel good. Wonderful, now I'll try it. Just let me know how you like it. Wow, this is really good. Only something I'm starting to feel weird after it. It's just such an aftertaste. Sorry if you didn't like it, I'm just learning how to do it. Or did you start to feel something different? Explain it to me, JJ. Yeah, no, it's probably the aftertaste. Thank you very much. I'm going to go for a walk. Jesus, what kind of morsel is this? What's happening to me? It's like I'm starting to feel something inside me for the witch. JJ, are you okay? Yes, of course. Why are you standing still? I just had to pee. You guys have fun. I'm going to go take a little break. I want to wash my face and come to my senses. Where's Mikey's bathroom around here? This is his bedroom. I don't need 
need to be in here. I need to check all the rooms. That's not it either. Apparently, the restroom is here. Yes, I finally guessed it. Now I just want to wash my face with cold water because I don't know what's happening to me. Whew, I'm kind of feeling a little better. Apparently, this witch made a bad morsel, but I won't upset her. Hey, JJ, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just had a sudden urge to go to the toilet. Okay, because I was scared. I thought you were sick. Then I'll wait for you downstairs. I'm done, Mikey. Let's go downstairs together. I just had to wash up. All right, JJ, let's go. I have a huge desire to just have fun. I don't even have to do anything. What are you standing there for? Let's go quickly. I'm sorry, I was just thinking. Let's go down. What's up, guys? How are you feeling? Ready to keep having fun? Everybody ready, let's go. Six hours later. Okay, Mikey, thanks for walking me out. I'm gonna go rest after this party. Maybe you wanna come over to my place. No, JJ, thank you very much, but I'm very tired too. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right, JJ, thanks again for coming. See you. Thank you for organizing all of this. Call me if you need me. That's it. Now I just wanna lie down and rest. Oh my God, there's that feeling inside me again. Like after that morsel from the witch. Gotta run and wash my face again. Hey, JJ, you're finally starting to feel something for me. Tell me something. I think I'm in love with you. You're very beautiful. Can you please give me your cell phone so we can spend time together without anyone interrupting us? Of course, darling. Take it. I don't want any distractions myself. We'll go with you to a place where no one will find us. I've wanted to do that to you for a very long time. I'm glad you fell in love with me. Of course, my love. I'd love to. She's already gone into the portal. I am very happy that she was at my house and waiting for me. Finally, I feel completely happy the next day. JJ hasn't even called. Is he still asleep or something? I should go check on him. Especially since he offered to see me tonight. But he's taking too long to respond. I guess I was right. He's asleep. I'll go wake him up then. No, he's nowhere to be found. So where would he go? He must have gone to one of our friends. I should go and see if they've seen JJ. I'll go to the two girls first. I'm already there. I'll ring the doorbell and find out. I'm surprised JJ isn't even answering his phone. Apparently he's very busy. Hello girls, have you seen JJ? No Mikey, we didn't. The last time we saw him was yesterday. Okay, I hear you, thank you very much. You're welcome Mikey. Now we have to check with the nurse. Hello, have you seen JJ? He's nowhere to be found. No Mikey, the last time I saw him was at a party. Then where he could have gone, I don't understand. All that's left is to go to the witch's house. I highly doubt JJ is exactly with her, but maybe she knows where he is. I have to go in and check with her right away. I'm starting to get worried. But the witch isn't home either. What's going on? Oh no, she's got some kind of portal. I should check where it goes. Maybe it's just the two of them. What a beautiful way you've set everything up for us. I'm so glad you did. Of course, JJ. I've wanted to be with you for a very long time, and today means a lot to me. There you are, JJ. Why aren't you answering your phone? I couldn't find you. I'm spending time with my favorite girl. What did you do to JJ? Get over here. Stay out of our way, Mikey. Wow, how cool you did that. Where did you send him? Don't worry about it, JJ. As long as it doesn't interfere with our time together. I agree, love. Thank you for doing this. Let's just go someplace else so no one can find us. My God, where does this portal lead? Jesus, Mikey, how'd you get in here? Did you find JJ? Yeah, I found him. The witch threw me through a portal when I found them. She's cast a spell on him. We have to help him now. How are we supposed to help him? And there's nothing I can do to help him for sure. You'll have to come to unbind him. Let's go quickly. Jesus, why'd you bring a shotgun? Because she's dangerous to us. What a terrible thing is going on. A few minutes later. They were in this portal, you'll see now. Oh no, they must have gone somewhere else. She knew I'd be back again. And then where could they go? We need to find them sooner rather than later. She's definitely up to something bad. I'm sure she's always wanted to be with JJ. Maybe JJ fell in love with a witch too. Then why are they hiding and fleeing into portals? Especially since JJ always said he didn't want to be with her. Okay, I agree. I remember JJ telling me about it too. Now I realize how weird it all is. You finally understand what I'm talking about. Now we have to go into that place and look for them. It looks pretty scary, Mikey. Then they're definitely in there. I don't like all this.
My beloved wants to immortalize our love, so she stuck me in here so we can be together for life. That's right, JJ. I don't want anyone to separate us, and this way we'll always be together. I totally agree, love. Do whatever you want. Okay, my love. I'm so glad you understand me like that. What are you doing with our friend? Are you out of your mind? How did you find us? Get out of here. We know why JJ is with you. We won't let you do this to him. Hey, don't hurt my favorite girl. You can't keep me and JJ apart anyway. Honey, stop them. They're trying to make us break up. Oh, really? I won't let you do it. I want to be together with my favorite girl for the rest of my life. JJ, calm down. We're going to help you now. She's making you sick. He'll feel better now. God, it hurts so bad. What's happening to me? Oh, where am I? What are we all doing here? The witch has cast a spell on you, JJ. She wanted to be with you in a dishonest way. Why did you ruin everything, you subhumans? So it was your morsels that made me sick at the party. You put the potion in it. I can still do it, and you'll be with me forever. No, you won't be able to bully me like this anymore. We have to spoil this potion to stop her. I'm gonna do it now, JJ. Don't worry. Great. Now she can't take advantage of it. Why did you do that? I spent so long preparing all this. Because you can't do that. Thank you so much for saving me from her. Now let's get away from this freak. What a horror it was after all. Next time you have to be careful not to take drinks from her. I can't get my potion back. I'm almost done and you're just in my way. You deserve it. You can't use things like that. Get out of here before I kill you all. Here's a potion for you on purpose. Just jump out of here and never show up here again. Gladly. Hope to never see you again, crazy. So happy my friends helped me and I can live my life in peace and not with her. It is possible to win by unfair means, but that victory is unworthy when you leave other people without a choice. Will you please shut up and stop talking about it? One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Today is the first day after vacation. It is urgent to finish all the tasks to avoid getting a D on the first day. I need to get this done quickly because I have to leave the house soon. But I'm almost done, so there's no point in rushing and hurrying too much. That's it. One last line left to write and I'm all set for today. All that's left is to pack my backpack and I can head off to study at my favorite school. Onward to new knowledge. God, why do I keep counting all this change on the table? It's clear that this money is only enough for the next two days anyway. And what to do next, I don't even know. Things are too bad at this point in my life. So excited to go to school, I've really missed it all. And when I'm in a good mood, it means learning will be easy. Oh, why is my mom sitting sad over there? Hey mom, is something wrong? Why are you sitting there so sad? Our money's really tight, Mikey. I just can't feed you properly. You'll have to walk around and starve because there's only enough money left for your basic needs for two days at the most and I have absolutely no idea where to find any money. It's really all very sad, Mom, but you don't have to worry. Things will get better soon. I will graduate soon, and I will get so much money that you will never work again. So don't be sad, and I'll go to school. Thanks, Mikey. Phew, I had a great night's sleep, and it's time to get up. Hey, guys! Today is my most ordinary day. I don't have anything to do, so I'm going to sit down at my powerful computer to play from the very morning. I love those days when there are no plans and I can do whatever I want. Except I don't know what I'd rather play, so I'll play anything I can get my hands on. A great plan, I think. I don't get it, JJ. What are you doing here? I woke up and decided to play on the computer, so what? And the fact that it's your first day at a new school, you don't even care? Quickly turn everything off and get ready. You can't be late. God, I really forgot about it. I thought it was vacation. I'm so sorry. That's okay. The important thing is that I thought of you and stopped by to see what you were doing. It's true. Thank you so much, Dad. Here's some money for you today. Your driver is waiting for you and ready to take you there. Wonderful. Thank you so much again. You are the best. There is no problem with that. The main thing is to study well and don't be lazy. Yes, of course I won't let you down. Then I'll see you tonight, JJ. Bye, Dad. Love you. Oh, my God. My dad is so great. He's very kind and generous to me. I'm very lucky to have him. I have no right to upset him, so it is my responsibility to do well in my new school. Now it's time to go there. Oh, JJ, hi. I'm your new personal driver. Are you ready to go to school? Yes, of course. I'm very happy to go there. Then let's not waste any time and let's go quickly. Get in the car and let's hit the road. Yes, absolutely. I totally agree with you. How wonderful it is not to be walking on such an early morning, but to be riding in the comfort of a car. Now it's time to go. Want to put on some music while we're driving, JJ? No thanks for the offer, but I like driving in silence better than listening to music. No problem. Your wishes are law to me. Thank you so much. You're a very kind and good person. I'm glad I'm a good fit for you, JJ. Hope we can be friends. It's not a problem.
Here I am, almost running to my school. I'm so glad to be here. I missed it all so much. Now the main thing is for me to study well so that I can help my mom out of poverty. I'm the man of the family, and it's my responsibility to make sure my mom and I have a good life. Oh, what's that sound in the back? I'm even a little scared to turn around, but I'm really curious about what's in there. Wow, what a cool car. There's my new school. It looks pretty beautiful, to be honest. Thank you so much for driving me here. Apparently, it's the new kid in our class, and he seems to have a lot of money to come here in such a nice car. I should meet him. I think he's a great guy. As long as he didn't think it was about the money. Hopefully, this school will welcome me and I can do well here. But all in all, I think it will be fine. The main thing is to find friends. JJ, I'll pick you up after school. Okay, thank you very much. Dad has found a great man. I like him a lot. It's nice that the driver treats me like that. Now I'm off to find where I'm having my classes. I think in such a big school, it would be problematic for me to find something on my own. But that's okay. I'll just see what's interesting here. All in all, I love everything about it. The automatics and repairs, awesome. Wow, and on this board, you, my viewers, have been left with an important assignment. Be sure to read it and do it. It will be my pleasure. Hey, man, hello. I saw you drive up. Are you new to the school? My name is Mikey. I can help you find your class. Hi, I'm JJ. I don't know anyone here, so I'm really excited to meet you. We can be friends. I don't really have any friends either. What do you think of our school? I really like it here. It is very big and very beautiful. I'm glad you like it here. You don't know where we are studying yet, do you? Yes, of course. It's my first time here, so I don't know anything at all. Then let's get there soon, because being late on the first day is bad. I agree with you. You sound just like my dad. Huh, that's funny. I just got here early with those thoughts in mind. Are we only going to study in the same room? Yes, of course. There's plenty of lockers. Enough for everyone. We're not going anywhere else. That's awesome. I'm really excited about it. Ready to step into your new class? Yeah, sure, Mikey. I'm a little worried, but I'm excited to start learning. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Very cool. Especially since I see you have some very pretty girls in your class. Come sit with me, JJ. I don't have anyone sitting here. That's great. It's a pleasure to sit with you. And and especially with such an interesting girl next to me. I'm glad you're glad. We just have to wait for the teacher. It's true. It makes me want to start learning. Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. There was traffic on the road. I drove the car myself and don't remember any traffic there. <laughs> I completely forgot. We have a new student in our class. Yes, hello. I'm JJ. This boy comes from a rich family. He has a lot of money. And I am very happy that he is now studying with us. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for that. You said he had a lot of money. Yes, he does. Wow, I didn't think we'd be so lucky. It's really cool to have you in our class. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. If it's okay with you, we can stay here after school and study extra. Okay, why don't we just start learning? It's true. The lesson is already in progress. Sure, you just think about my offer. I don't think I'll disappoint you. Okay, I've memorized your words. I'll definitely think about it. Look at me, JJ. I'd love to spend time with such a handsome guy, too. Okay, what a fun and funky place you have here, after all. Okay, JJ must be tired of so much attention. Let's start a new thread. Listen up because we will be writing a quiz on this topic soon. Finally, after so much talking, we are starting to learn calmly. It's true, because the whole thing was weird. That's true, but actually that teacher is pretty cute. That and a classmate. I really like you, JJ. I'm very lucky to have you in our class. Jesus, she just looks at you and doesn't look away. Yeah, it's a bit weird, I agree, but I'm glad to have such a pretty girl looking at me. Two hours later. Class is over, which means we can go home. Short day today, but that's even better. I need to slowly get into studying. I'm happy about it, too. It's better to learn less now and more later on. So which one of you two is JJ? Uh, I am, so why? Why are you seducing a TV classmate? Have you lost your fear or something? No, this is some kind of misunderstanding. I didn't do anything. She talked to me. So you're blaming her as well? You ask her yourself. What's the controversy? Oh, what are you doing here? As soon as she found out I came from a rich family, she started socializing with me. Why are you slandering her? Are you afraid to admit your mistakes? Jesus, you can have anyone confirm what I'm telling you. I just wanted to hang out with him a little bit. He's new to the class. See, I told you I'm not lying. Calm down, please. It's just that he's rich and liked me a bit and I wanted to socialize. So you were gonna trade me for this rich guy? I don't know, to be honest. You're dead, rich boy. Don't! Ouch, what a headache. Where am I now? Apparently it hit me really hard and I was taken to the nurse's station. And it's quite nice here. And the nurse herself looks very nice. Hey, I'm awake, am I okay? I don't have any diseases? No, boy, you're all right. You just got hit hard and lost consciousness. 
You came to your senses pretty fast. Great, because that psycho wouldn't even listen to me and just hit me. Oh, JJ, you're awake. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, Mikey, I too am glad nothing bad happened. I'm the one who brought you here, JJ. I was really scared for you. The nurse is pretty cute, and thank you so much for helping me out, Mikey. You're my friend, JJ. I'd never leave you in the lurch. Then let's go home. Wait, stop. You're the new JJ who comes from a rich family, aren't you? Yeah, it's me. It's my first day of school. Oh, no, I think it started again. What are you talking about? Out, Mikey. I noticed your beauty right away. Do you have any money on you? Well, yes, of course you can have some. You helped me heal. Wow, JJ, you're really cool. Thank you so much for your kindness. You're welcome. It's not hard for me to thank you. Did you like me? Have you seen what I look like? JJ, we have to hurry up already. We've lost a lot of time with this fight. Yeah, I agree. Let's go, Mikey. Hope to see you again and spend time together. Okay, I'll think about that suggestion. Bye, thanks for your help. You get hit on all the time, JJ. I notice it too, Mikey. And everyone does when they find out I have a lot of money. They're weird, of course. I was supposed to have a driver come to pick me up, but I think he was waiting for me and decided to drive back home. Yeah, JJ, I saw him. You were unconscious for quite a while. Then we'll walk home together now. And in general, it's very strange to see that you're rich and everyone wants to socialize with you. Never mind that. I know my only friend is you. I'm just poor and nobody wants me. You're the only one in this school who doesn't talk to me for money. Hey, JJ. Can you come over here for a quick chat? I'll take some time. Just come over here and we'll talk in private. Yes, of course. I'll come to you now. Sorry, Mikey. I won't be gone long. All right, JJ. I'll wait for you out front. I'll find out what she wants from me and I'll come straight to you. I'm here. What did you want to talk to me about? I'm glad, JJ, that you were able to make time for me after that situation. It's okay. I'm listening to you. I wanted to apologize for that boy. I didn't think you'd get hit so hard by him. It's okay. The important thing is that I'm okay and I'm alive and well. Then let's spend some time together, huh, handsome? Oh my god, Mikey's really upset standing there by himself. I unfortunately can't. I have to go. JJ, I'm so glad you haven't gone home yet. Do you mind staying for extra classes? No, I'm telling you, I have to go home now. Come on, don't you want to spend time with a hottie like me? I really can't. You're not the first person to ask about me. Everyone else is just awful compared to me. What? I actually wanted to spend time with JJ too. I told you I have business. I couldn't spend time with anyone. Hey JJ, I'm so glad you're still in school. Wait for me, I'll be right down. What's the nurse Oh my doing? God, what I a terrible thing is myself. happening. JJ, thank you again for the money. Maybe we can spend some time together? You're all here to spend time with me, but I repeat, I am busy. Can't you find time for a hottie like me? Hey you, I've been asking JJ to hang out since the beginning, so get out of here. I want to go with JJ too. You're all unworthy of me. Are you kidding me now? You're not worth my heel. JJ will be mine. I initially started communicating You're all him. horrible and not worth him. God, stop a making a big deal out of this. I'm like not going that. anywhere with finished? anyone. <laughs> My God, what did I just see with my own eyes? Now the three of them are lying there beaten, all because everyone wanted to get money from me. They're disgusting. Why all this was necessary, I don't understand. Jesus, JJ, they fought like they were fighting for their lives. How is that even possible? That, Mikey, is how people who only want money behave. It's disgusting. Good thing I'll never act like that and earn everything by my own labor. People behave sometimes worse. There's only three of them here. Some of them are completely absurd. Well, let's go home then. Let's not pay any more attention to them. I agree with you, Mikey. I really appreciate that you are not like them. The next day... I'm sitting in my room playing on my most powerful computer, but it's not helping me get through a difficult mission. But I play with great pleasure and I'm not stressed that I'm trying to kill one boss for more than an hour. The most important thing for me is that I have a beautiful picture. That's why I play nonstop. And apparently, Mikey needed something from me, and I'm just about to take a break from the computer. JJ, stop sitting in your room. There's nothing to do. That's why I'm sitting still. What have you been doing here so long? I'm just going through the hard mission as usual. Now I suggest we go for a bike ride together. I don't mind, Mikey. I like the two of us to spend time together. Then let's just do it that way. Wait, Mikey, maybe you want to go on a mission in the game with me? You know I don't like this mission, so let's go for a bike ride. Maybe after we ride, we can play. All right, Mikey, no problem. Are we going someplace specific? I think we'll decide when we get the bikes, but I have a place I want to show you. All right, as long as it's interesting. Of course. 
Why are we going to the garage with you? Because this is where we left the bikes last time. Wow, I had completely forgotten about that. Now it makes sense. These bikes are so many years old now, but we can still get a great ride out of them. It's true. I remember the first time we bought them and rode all over the village. And now we're riding a lot better, and we're going to have a lot more fun. That's right. The first time you and I tripped over every rock. Let's just get in and go. No problem. Just you go first, and I'll follow you. Look what I'm about to do. I can do these tricks in peace. Let me see. Wow, this is really cool, Mikey. What did you think? I'm almost a pro at this, and it's the easiest thing I know how to do. It looks really easy from the outside, but I wouldn't risk doing it right now. Better yet, let's just take a ride to where you wanted to go. I forgot about that. We need to go to the woods, JJ. It's a really fun ride. Okay, Mikey, just don't go too fast. I need to remember how to ride well. Not a problem. What a great trail with very nice views all around. I love everything about it. Of course, that's why I I suggested you come here. I really like it here, too. And in general, it's much more fun to ride a bike than to play on the computer all the time. Look how beautiful the view is here. We're standing right on top and we can look far into the distance. I understand it's very high up here, so you don't take too many risks and be careful. I understand. Don't worry. I've got it under control. But you're standing right on the edge, Mikey. Ah! Oh no, Mikey! Oh my god! I hope he survived. Oh no, it's really high up here. He's unconscious. Why didn't he listen to me and decide to do tricks there? What am I supposed to do now? Gotta run and try to help in some way. I hope it's not that bad. He's still lying there, not moving at all. Apparently, he fell too hard. Mikey, please wake up. Tell me you're not dead. It's too bad he's not answering. Apparently, he's either dead or on the verge of death. I need to call an ambulance. They're the only ones who can help him. There's not a minute to lose in a situation like this. I'm listening. Please come quickly. We need help. We are somewhere in the woods near a big mountain. Okay, help is on its way. Stand by. Thank you very much. Hurry up. Mikey, please don't die. I really need you. All the more reason for the ambulance to be close by, and it won't be long before they can help you. The man is dying. Please help him quickly. He really needs help, and I don't know how I can help. Hurry up and come out and watch. Why are you in such a hurry? What's wrong with you? My friend took a bad fall, and he's been lying unconscious for quite some time. Jesus, did he fall right off the mountain? Exactly. This is very bad. He needs to be taken to the hospital. I can't help him here. Do whatever you want. Just don't let him die, please. He's my only brother. Then I'll waste no time and take him straight to the hospital before he dies. Okay. I'll go right behind you and check on him. No problem. I will in turn take him to the main hospital and make sure his life is not in danger right away, just in time. Okay, I believe you can keep Mikey alive. I promise you that I will do everything I can and not let him die. Thank you so much. I'll be very happy. How nice that the nurse arrived very quickly and is also taking Mikey to the hospital quickly. But I still feel very bad for my brother and am very worried that I will never see him again. I've already raced to the hospital, and now I have to find exactly where Mikey is lying. But I don't see anything concrete, and apparently I have to wait for the nurse to come out. Oh my god, can you please tell me how Mikey's doing? How quickly you came running. Come into the office, don't worry. His life is not in danger. He should wake up soon. God, I'm so glad it's all over. I was so scared. He did fall very badly, but because you called quickly, we were able to fix him quickly. I'm very glad I was able to help in some way, because I knew I didn't know how to do first aid. You did good, JJ. Good job. Jesus Christ, where am I? How you scared me. You're in the hospital, Mikey. You're okay. I thought I was dead at first, but I'm glad I'm alive. You don't know how scared I was for you. I myself, on the way down, thought it was the last minutes of my life. Say thank you to the doctor. She saved you. Thank you all so much. Now I won't risk my life like that. Then go rest at home, boys. That nurse is very pretty. I didn't realize there were girls like that working here. I noticed right away how good she looked, too. But my thoughts were all about you. But now the two of us can look at her because her figure is very beautiful, especially in her robe. Let's you and I take a picture on phone and reminisce later. Take a picture faster, JJ. I don't get it. What are you guys doing here? We were just watching the whole thing. I heard you talking about me and wanted to take a picture. You know what I'm going to do to you for this? Don't do anything. Please excuse us. We realized we shouldn't do that. It won't happen again. Get out of here before I kill you myself. We all get it. Please don't. It's not right. It's not right to spy on a girl when I just slept Mikey's life away. We said we understood. I'm sorry. Don't come here again. 
The main thing is that we had time to take pictures, so we don't have to go here. Exactly. So let her be mad and we'll watch her at home now. That's right. Especially since I'm already feeling pretty good after a fall like that. I'm very happy about it. Now it's safe to go home and play something quiet. Yeah, we'll never go to that altitude again for sure. You have to learn from your mistakes. Wait, I think I saw a dollar. What's serious? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I never thought after I almost died I'd be so lucky. It's true. It is very rare to see a dollar just lying on the ground. Then I dibs on it, because I saw it first. Take it for God's sake. I don't need it anyway. It's all about reaching. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Are you serious? Why'd you try to take it when you could have gone around it? I didn't see that, JJ. You better stop just standing there and help me out. You ended up getting stuck because of your greed and haste. I totally understand what you're about to say, but it's not going to help me clear my head, so help me. Okay, now I'm going to push you and hope it works. Everything seems to be working out. You! Now go around like a normal person and get your dollar. And while I was stuck, I thought about the fact that we could, after all, keep that dollar and wait for the nurse. Maybe she'd be stuck too. You don't think she'll realize there's a way around it? I guess not. We need a place to hide and follow her. It's probably best to do it the other way around, after all. All right, let's give it a try. We don't have much to lose anyway. I think so too, but the important thing is that it's here. We just have to hide well so no one sees us. Then let's go that way. I'm sure we won't be seen or heard. It's all about the nurse seeing a dollar. It's been a rough day today. It's a good thing it's over because it's deep into the night and it's time for me to head home. Good thing it's not cold outside. I can even take my time a lot. It's nice to have no one around in this weather, especially since there's nothing to do at home anyway. Whoa, was it just me or did I see a dollar on the ground? Gotta make sure of that. If I'm not imagining it, that would make me happy. And really, it's so weird that the dollar is just lying there untouched, but it's not my fault. I'll definitely keep it. The main thing is to reach, but I'm kind of big and that won't be a problem. Okay, I'm in this hole, I just need to grab a dollar and get out. But it seems like I can't move, I can't squeeze forward and back. Please somebody help me, I'm stuck and I can't get out. I'm really hoping that not everyone has gone to bed yet and someone will rescue me. Mikey, I think our trap worked perfectly. Yeah, she's stuck. I told you I'm not the only one who's stupid. Now we can get back at her for all the threats and mean words she said to us. Let's go faster. She doesn't even know we're here. I don't know if she'll be happy when she sees us or upset. Look at her figure. We can watch in peace now and nothing will happen to us. Yeah, you and I are very lucky she stuck around. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Let's go show her around and make her happy she's not alone. Look at her. She seems to think she's stuck here forever. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Please help me out. No, you're not getting out of here that easy. We remember you yelling at us. And not just yelling yelling but threatening and saying she was gonna kill us. Do you really have a grudge against me? I did it because you were looking at me. And now we can do it again and you can't even do anything about it. Don't! If I get out, I'll get my revenge. Did you hear that, JJ? Is she still threatening us or is it just me? You heard right, Mikey. So it's time for us to show her that we can't be treated this way or it'll get worse. I fully support you. I always have a ruler in my pockets for such occasions. This is the first time I'm glad you have this ruler with you. So let's get started. Attack her! That's better. I hope she realizes now that we're not ordinary guys. Yeah, and I'm feeling a lot better about myself now that I've done it. And the best part is that it was also a pleasure for us. Shall we go see how she's doing? You bet, Mikey. I wonder what's wrong with her. Oh my god, guys, I'm so tired. Please set me free. So you can get back at us? No, thank you. I think I'll take the dollar with me. I didn't even think there was a way around it. Why did I even bother? Okay, I suggest we get out of the way of thinking about things here and just go home. Great idea, JJ. I agree. Maybe you'll let me out now. I don't even know. I'm afraid we'll make a mistake if we let her out. You say it right. Better to go home quietly with a dollar than to run away from an angry nurse now. Okay, Mikey. We'll visit her again tomorrow if we need to. And I'm awake again. It's warm outside now and I didn't even get cold that night. Now I will need to finish my homework and therefore head off to school. I think my mom's still asleep. 
I need to finish this quietly without waking her up. Oh, I really love math. It's my favorite subject in school. The calculations are mesmerizing. What time is it? Oh no, I'm late for school. I can't fail this test. I need to pack up and run to class as soon as possible. And most importantly, don't forget the prep notebook. Hopefully I can repeat this before class. Time to run to school. What? Why is mom crying? She's really upset about something. How can I help her? That's right. I'll try to talk to her. Mom, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Oh, hello, my dear son. The fact is that we have almost no money left at all and we have nothing to pay for the house. I'd hate to lose this house. Wait, I'm doing really well in school. I'll get my paycheck soon and we can pay for everything. You think that's enough for us? Of course, we can even do a little remodeling in this room. Oh, that's really great. I would love for that to happen. Now get to school before you're late. Oh yeah, you're right. I almost forgot I might be late for today's test. JJ, thank you so much for all you do for me. No problem, Mom. I'm happy when I can help you. It's important to me too. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be so late. I gotta run to school. I've got all the way across the village to get there. Do you help your parents? Is it morning already? Oh, right. It's the first day of a new school. I can't oversleep. I wonder if I'd be interested there. Will I be able to make new friends? I have to go wash up and then ask to find my dad. Hopefully he's still home. And I'm telling you, I don't want stock in your burger joint. I don't think they can generate revenue for me. You're just a fledgling startup and I'd rather buy a Disney park. And you don't have to talk me into it. All the best to you. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day at my new school. Can you take me to school and give me money? I can't be late. Oh, Mikey, hi. I'll call you back. Yeah, sure, I'll give you the money. Let me just find where I keep my cash. Oh, there it is. Here you go, son. I hope you have enough for today. I'm sorry, but I've got work to do. I've got a lot of things to do since we moved in. Your driver will take you away. Make sure you make friends with someone at school. Make lots of friends and do well in class. And now I'm working. Thank you, Dad. Okay, I understand. I'll do my best. Okay. Well, I should probably get going so I'm not late on my first day. Good work, then. I'll see you tonight. Dad has been working so much lately. We hardly see each other. But he does everything he can to make sure we have a good life. Greetings, Mr. Mikey. Ready to go to school? Yeah, sure. I've got nowhere else to be, as long as we're not late. Don't worry, we'll get you there in a breeze. Just be careful. I don't want to have an accident. Here I am at school. I'm even a little glad I'm here today because I have to learn and get smart to make a lot of money. There's kind of a test today. I'm sure I'll be able to write it perfectly. I'm very smart. Wow, there's a beautiful classmate. How wonderful she looks. I must have a chat with her. But I'm a little scared. I'm not sure she likes me. Maybe offer to help her with the test? Yeah, I think that's the only way she'll look at me. Hey, wait, please don't go. Yeah, okay, so what's up? What's wrong, JJ? I'd like to offer you an interesting deal. Today Today, I'll help you with writing your test, and afterwards we'll go for a walk. What do you think of the plan? Uh, okay, JJ. We'll see what my mark is, and then we'll decide. While I can't just go along with it, you can figure it out for yourself. Okay, I'm sure you'll write well, so get ready to go for a walk afterward. I'm glad such a hottie agreed to go at least that way with me, through a favorable offer. I'm very happy with the way things turned out. Now it's time to go to class and figure out how to discreetly me to help her. Wait, what's that sound in there? Wow, what a cool car to come here. I wonder who it is. I've never seen it. Apparently it's some new guy. Thanks for driving me. Here's your money. Wow, that's a lot of money. He's giving it to the driver so calmly. Although if he's coming in a car like that, he's got a lot of money. It's an interesting school. It's quite big and looks nice. I think I'll be fine studying here. I was right. It really is his first time here. Maybe offer to help and get to know each other? He doesn't know where our classroom is. Hey, wait. Hello. You're new here, right? Uh, yeah. Hi. I'm trying to find out where we go to school. My name is JJ. I've been studying here for a long time. I can show you where we study. That would be great because I don't have any friends here and I don't know anything at all. My name's Mikey, by the way. Great. We have a generally ordinary school, although it's quite large. Yeah, I can see that. I like it all. 
all. Where exactly are we studying? I'll show you everything now. If you don't have any more questions, we can go to our classroom. Yeah, sure, let's go. We'll start school soon. Then let's not waste any time and let's go already. Our place is right here. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. You go ahead, JJ. Well, you have to follow me. I'm showing you everything. This is where our lockers are. And this is where we put all of our unneeded textbooks. I see, it's convenient. Yeah, especially since it's right next to our classroom. Then let's get in there and see what's inside. All in all, we have an ordinary classroom. Nothing interesting here. And where are you sitting? You can sit here with me. I'm sitting alone anyway. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Our teacher is late as usual. It's no surprise if anything. I've already realized that, but that's even better. I'm glad about that. It's true. That's why I never rush to class. Hello, everybody. Class. Sorry I'm late. I had my reasons, but we have a new kid in the class. Only I don't see where exactly he sat. I'm here, teacher. I sat down with JJ. Yeah, that's right. I see you. Our new kid, Mikey, comes from a rich family. His dad has been a great supporter of our school financially. Wow. Seriously, are you that rich? Yes, JJ, that's right. All right. I guess you'll get to meet him. But for now, let's learn. That's awesome, Mikey. Your dad's a great guy. Yes, How cool. True. We have a rich guy in our class. I'm happy about that. Enough talking. Let's do something useful. Let me see what we have planned. The teacher should not have told about you in such words. A classmate has already spoken. Spotted you. I can see that, JJ, but that's okay. She's kinda cool. Yeah, she's not a bad girl, but it's still weird that she started looking at you like that right away. Guys, I totally forgot. We have a knowledge test today. It won't be easy. Those who have been preparing will write a great paper, I'm sure of it. Oh no, I think I have a little problem. Three hours later. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to have the best grade ever. I didn't study for this test for nothing. Now, I'm getting closer and closer to making a lot of money. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a like if you believe I can do it. Now I can happily go home. I'm gonna tell my mom the good news. Oh my god, why is Mikey walking around so upset? Did he get a bad grade? Hey Mikey, what are you so upset about? Bad writing? Yeah, JJ, I didn't study for that test at all and I got the worst grade. Yeah, Mikey, I can see that. This is bad. How did you write it, JJ? I wrote for a better grade. I mean, I've been studying. Good for you, JJ, and I don't understand it at all. Don't worry, Mikey. I can help you prepare and you'll write better. We're friends now. Thank you so much, JJ. I'm so glad you're so kind and smart. Of course we're friends. I'm happy about that too. Then we can go out right now and I'll explain it to you. Yes, it's true. We can go to my house and sit together there. Great, but I'm a little hungry. Don't worry. You can definitely find something to eat at my house. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Mikey. You want to go for a walk together? I'd really like to go with such a cool and rich guy. Is that right? Do you like me? Sure, Mikey. I hope you I think I'm very pretty too, because I have such a great figure and such a pretty face. Wow, it's true. I really like you too. You have money, right? You're not gonna offend me with this? Of course not. Look how many I have. I don't feel sorry for any of it at all. You're so cool and awesome, Mikey. Let's get out of here, just the two of us. Of course we will, beautiful. So what's going on here? Uh, wait, what about me? Weren't we supposed to go together too? What? Did you really have a deal? Well, actually, yeah. Get out of here, Scarecrow. There's been a change of plans and you're not in them. I'm sorry, JJ. Let's meet some other time. And my rich guy and I are going on a vacation together. Bye, JJ. See you tomorrow. Jesus. Mikey traded me for this classmate who's only going with him because of his money. That's a little hurtful. I don't understand how Mikey doesn't see this and why he thinks she's so great. I don't think she's good. Jesus, Mikey. What's wrong with you? Oh, no. What happened in there? What happened to Mikey? What am I supposed to do? I have to find out what really got in there. Please, somebody help me. JJ, come here. Oh, my God. What happened? Mikey slipped, and now he's not moving or responding. Oh, no. Apparently, he passed out from the hard blow. What are we supposed to do now? He could have been hit very hard. I don't know. I guess we have to wait for him to come to his senses. And if he doesn't, he could just die here, JJ. We can't just stand here and wait. Okay, I agree with you. Then we should call an ambulance. I don't know first aid. Well, they're not coming anytime soon, and he needs help now. Jesus, what are we supposed to do then? Suggest it. I don't know. I don't have any ideas. I guess Mikey's just gonna lie here unconscious. No one else will ever help him. Wait, stop being upset. I'm taking him to our nurse right now. She can definitely help Mikey. This is our only chance to help him now. Then you need to do it soon. There's no time to waste. God, he's so heavy for his height. Are you gonna help me or not? No, I'm afraid I'm not going in there. Carry him yourself faster. But when you go out with him for money, you're the first to go. It's so hard to do that, but that's okay. I have an obligation to help my friend. 
moments later. I've already carried my friend and it looks like he's going to be fine. Now I'm going to go in there and make sure of it for certain. Or maybe I should wait a little while the nurse helps him. Just need to know if I can get in, that's all. What am I stupid? Hey, can I come in? Yes, you can. That's great. How are you guys doing? I see Mikey's okay. Yes, because he bumped, he immediately lost consciousness. But because you brought him in quickly, it was no big deal. Great, I'm very glad I was able to help and all is well. Thank you so much, JJ, you're awesome. It's true, you did a great job. There's no problem with that. I did what I had to do. I want to thank you, JJ. I hope this helps you. You deserve to get this much money. Jesus, Mikey, you shouldn't have done that. No, you saved my life. Money is nothing compared to that. Thank you. Wow, where do you get all that money you're giving away for nothing? Well, actually, it's for a reason. That's not the point. I can see that money is not a problem for you. I just come from a rich family and I don't feel sorry for them. That's cool. Don't you want to spend time with a pretty girl like that? Is that right? You're not kidding? Of course not. I'm really looking forward to spending time with such a great guy. That's nice to hear from such a beautiful girl. We can go from here and you'll look at me more often. I agree. I'm getting tired of being in this school. Then let's go somewhere where no one will bother us. I really want to see your gorgeous figure again. I don't mind, but I want to get some money first. Sure, don't worry. Money is no problem. That's great. Then we'll both have a good time. Are you guys really gonna walk out of here alone right now? Yeah, JJ. So what? No, it's okay. I'll go home too then. Great. Then I'll see you tomorrow. I need you to help me with the test. Bye, JJ. Thanks for saving Mikey. It's true. He's a great friend. Let's get out of here already. Of course, handsome. I'm coming for you. Jesus, Mikey found himself another girl who followed him for money. But okay, he lives his life the way he wants. I'm very grateful to him for helping me with the money. Now I'm gonna go home and show my mom that money. I think it might make her happy. And that will help us survive a lot. I'm almost to our house. I already can't wait for my mom's reaction to me giving her such a big wad of money. I really don't want my mom to worry about this, and hopefully this much money will make her happy. God, I still don't have enough money. How can I live now? I'm getting really tired of this whole thing. Hey, Mom, hi. Stop being sad. I've got some very good news for you. Sorry, JJ. I guess your news can't cheer me up anyway. Look how little money we have left. Well, here's my good news. I helped a new boy at school, and he gave me such a big wad of money. Can you believe it? Jesus, JJ, I hope you're not kidding. How much money is this? Take everything I have and make it count. I think it's quite enough to last. I can't believe my eyes, JJ. That's really a lot. Yeah, Mom, I know. And I also got the best grade in the class, and I can make even more money soon. I'm very proud of you, JJ. I'm very lucky to have a son like you. I'm going to go pay all the debts, JJ, and buy us groceries. Okay, Mom, thank you so much for saying that. You deserve those words, son. You really lifted my spirits a lot. You're the best. I'm very happy about that. Come home soon, Mom. It's a good thing I helped Mikey, and he helped me. I hope we can have a new life now. Later. Ugh, time to wake up. No more sleep for me. Gotta figure out what I'm going to do today. Wow, apparently life has decided what I'm going to do today. I should go and see who's here this early in the morning. Hopefully it's nothing serious and just Mikey showing up to offer something to do. I'll be glad to see him. JJ, hey, I've got great news for you. Then hurry up and tell me. We have new neighbors in the village. I think we should go meet them. It's a good thing we're gonna buy something? Of course, we'll show them a good side. Especially since we rarely have any new people coming to live with us. I agree, Mikey. I just didn't know what to do. See, that's good. So we have to go right now. Let's just go straight out and get something for tea. Yeah, JJ, sure. Except I don't have any money and I'll have to buy you one. Jesus, as usual, don't worry. I'll buy it and we'll give it together. Thank you. Here we are at their house, JJ. I think it's pretty nice. Wow, I really like it too. I wonder who lives here. I haven't seen one, to be honest. But it'll be even more interesting to get acquainted that way. Especially with our beautiful and delicious cake that they are sure to love. I think we can definitely be friends if they're normal people and we'll have more fun living. Enough with the small talk and let's go get acquainted. I'm a little worried. Don't you have one? Just a little bit, but it doesn't bother me at all. That's good. Then let's ring the doorbell and wait for someone to answer. I really hope someone very friendly lives there. It's really true. I don't want to live next to bad people. Hey, who are you guys? Why have you come to see me? We're your neighbors in the village. And we're here to meet you and offer to have tea together with the delicious cake we bought. This is very unexpected, but I'm glad you came. Of course, I'm very happy to meet you, as I have no friends here at all, and I invite you to my home. We're glad you're so kind too. Don't be shy and make yourself at home. See what a nice girl lives here. I wonder what's inside her house. That's true, but I think it's all very beautiful there. I really tried to make the house so that I would love everything here, and the result is awesome. It really is. 
I really like the style in which the house is made. My name is Pomni, by the way, and I will say again that I am glad you came to see my house. And we're excited to see our new neighbor. My name is JJ, and this is my friend, Mikey. Let's just sit down and eat cake and chat about everything. I wanted to suggest this, too. We specifically chose the most delicious cake. Have you noticed how beautiful our neighbor is? Yeah, Mikey. I knew as soon as I saw her that she was the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen in my life. She's got a great figure. She probably works out, too. I hope she liked us, too, and will see us more often. That would be cool. Oh, someone's arrived? Hi, I bought all the groceries. Ooh, who are those people in our house? I didn't think we'd have company. These are our new neighbors, and this nurse is my sister. It all makes sense now. It really did make a lot of sense. JJ and Mikey are very good. I see these handsome boys have missed me. Good thing I got home in time. What's going on here? I don't know, JJ. Maybe these beautiful boys would like to stay at my place tonight, and I'll show them my room. JJ, I don't like what she's doing. Don't be shy. You'll be fine. I don't even know what to say now. Sister, why don't you stop bothering the guys? I think we should get going. We have important things to do today. Why don't you stay a little longer? No, we can't. We really have to go. Yeah, I remember. We really should go. We were very happy to meet you, but we have to go. Okay, well, be sure to come back again. Come on, Mikey. It's a shame we didn't get to eat the cake, so it's left to you to enjoy. Come back tomorrow and we'll eat it together. It was nice talking to you, but Mikey and I are already running late. Thank you for letting us into your home. We really appreciate it. And it's a pleasure to meet you, too. Hope we get to spend some more time with you, Mikey and JJ. Did you hear that, Mikey? I guess Pomni really liked us. I hope so, too. But it's good that you said we were doing well when the nurse came. I didn't like her either, and Pomni is just gorgeous. We should definitely catch a time when she's home alone. And the most important thing is that there is no nurse, because I didn't like the way she was hitting on us. I totally agree. I didn't like her either. She's too assertive. But the important thing is that we were able to get away from her, and now we can go home in peace. Looking forward to seeing Pomni tomorrow. And me too. The next day. We are sitting with Mikey at my house, playing our favorite fighting game. I'm trying to pass the mission you can't pass, but it's really hard. But agree how cool it is to play on new and powerful devices. It's really a total buzz. Oh, who's here to see us, I wonder? I wasn't expecting any visitors today. Maybe it is Pomni who came to visit us. What if it's not her and it's her weird sister who's been hitting on us? Maybe so, but we need to open and check anyway. All right, Mikey, open up. Oh, no, JJ. I thought it wasn't Pomni. Too bad. Why did you come to us? Is something wrong? No, guys. I just want to invite you to my house and show you my room after all. Because I didn't get to do that yesterday. Uh, seriously? This is unexpected. You guys are so great. I knew it right away. And I hope you don't have anything to do. And I want to spend time with you. And we have things to do, yes! What? Are you busy again? Yeah, that's right. I remember. We have a little remodeling going on at our house and can't tear ourselves away. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Hopefully we'll get some more time together. Maybe tomorrow would be convenient? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, so we can't say. I hear you. Too bad. I'm upset. Don't get upset. Get on with the important stuff. Let's go home soon. How glad I am that you can think of a quick way to keep us busy. Yeah, Mikey. I told you she'd be the one to come. But now we can play computer in peace. That's really great. But I really want to meet Pomni already and not that nurse. I know what you're talking about, but that's where we're going today anyway. I can't wait for this moment, JJ. It's a bit of a wait. Three hours later. I am so looking forward to seeing my Mikey and JJ. I wonder where they are. We're here now. It's beautiful. And we come to you with flowers like these. Wow, guys, this is so unexpected. I don't even know how to thank you. You don't need anything. Just hold them in your hands. Thanks so much, guys. I'm really pleased to receive such a beauty from you. Let's go for a little walk together then. The weather's fine. Of course. I've been really looking forward to this since yesterday. I love hanging out with the three of you. I really like it, too. So much better than sitting down. With such fine men. I'd go out every day, too. Then let's move on and look for beautiful places here. I'd love to stay up all night. And I'm really excited about it, too, guys. So that's what they're doing, it turns out. My sister just took my boys for nothing. And their business is to go with her and walk with her, but with me, they don't want to. And it seems like the three of them are having a lot of fun, and they don't care about me. It's very frustrating. But I know what to do. I'll just make sure Mikey and JJ never see my sister, and they'll have no choice. They'd come to me to apologize, and I'd be with them forever. She shouldn't have gotten in my way. I'll make sure they never see each other again. She came in after her walk and went straight to bed, apparently all the time walking. But nothing. Now I'll tie her up and hide her where no one will find her. And then I'll do something else. There's a lot of that in my hospital. I'll make sure she doesn't look like her usual self again. Even though she's my sister, she saw me fall in love with them and it's her fault. 
great. As long as no one sees me now and I hide it in my office. Please let me go. I didn't do anything to you. You better keep quiet and don't say anything. You shouldn't have dated Mikey and JJ. I loved them first, and all you did was make them blow me off and go out with you. But they fell in love with me on their own? I don't care. The next day. Mikey and I have come to visit our favorite Pomni already, and the most important thing is that her sister is not there. She told us yesterday that the nurse would be working at the hospital and Pomni would be waiting at home. I was so looking forward to this day to just spend time with the three of us at home and no one interrupted us. I'm looking forward to it too. Let's go see them before the nurse gets home from work. Then ring the doorbell and I'm ready to see our beautiful girl. We'll have many hours to be with each other, so we'll enjoy ourselves to the fullest. I'm surprised it's taken taking her so long to open up, she knows we're coming. Maybe something happened to her and that's why she can't open the door. Oh no, this could really happen. Then what do we do to help her in some way? I don't know, Mikey. We have to keep ringing the doorbell and waiting. JJ, stand back. I'm gonna take the door out and we'll go in. Wow, Mikey, I didn't think you could do that. I don't see anyone home, JJ. There's no one here at all. It's true, there's no sign of anyone here at all, but maybe she's upstairs in her room? That's right, there's a second floor. Then we should check to see if anyone's up there. All all right, Mikey, let's get up. I hope we find our sweetheart. This must be her room, but there's no one there either, JJ. Yes, it's probably her bed, but then where can she be if she's not home? I don't even know, JJ. There are no traces or anything that could answer the question for us. Then, if both the nurse and Pomni are not home, then maybe they went somewhere together. What do you think? Right, JJ. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Maybe they went to the hospital together and we should go there. Yeah, Mikey, 100%. Probably just a nurse asked for help and they left. Then let's go there, find Pomni there, and go for a walk straight from there and go back to her house. Good thing you thought of that, or I was starting to get really worried. I was thinking of calling the police myself. Here we are finally. Now we just have to find where they are. I think they just sit in some office and do their business there. Then let's go in the first one. I think they're definitely in there. What is there? Where are they sitting, Mikey? I was sure they were here, but there's absolutely no one here, JJ. I was sure too, since most of the time doctors are here, but there's definitely no one here. Then let's go to another office. Maybe they're in there working out so they don't get disturbed. What do you see, Mikey? Are they here? No, JJ, there's no one here at all either. But there are no more offices here. Then where are they if not in the hospital? I don't know, JJ, but we haven't checked this place out. Oh, no. They could have been kidnapped and kept there. We need to go check it out soon. But there's a locked door, JJ. We can't just go in there. We need a key. It's true. There's no way to open the door. Why don't you try kicking that door down again? I think I can do it. Just don't stand in my way. I can do it. I believe in you. Let's go. This looks very spectacular. Now we need to check it all out. There's a lot of stuff, and I don't think it's in there. But there's a door here. Very mysterious door, Mikey. There's a good chance they could be in there. Then I open it and look. Tell me they're in there, Mikey. Yeah, JJ, they're here, but I don't know what's going on. I think Pomni is lying there tied up. It's very strange. Please let me go. We're sisters and you don't have to do this. I told you it's your own fault. There's no other choice. I'll change your appearance completely. Oh my god, Mikey. Apparently the nurse has lost her mind completely. I'm begging you. Let's just talk and work this out. No, now I'll finish everything and Mikey and JJ will be mine. No, don't touch our girl. What are you doing here? We've heard it all, and there's no need to touch Pomni. We need her, not you. How did you know we were here, and how did you open the door? But it doesn't matter. I'll make you love me. Why don't we just do nothing, and you let your sister go in peace? I don't want you to be with her. I want you to be with me. And Mikey and I love Pomni, and don't want to be with you. Then I'll also tie you up and inject you with a special potion, and you'll still be with me. Take that, psycho. Two. She was already starting to grab me. Thank you, Mikey, for saving me. No problem. Now let's free our girl. I never would have thought it was a nurse who kidnapped Pomni because of us. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't expecting it myself. She must have gone mad and decided to achieve her goal by such horrors. Now let's untie the ropes and get out of here in peace. Just a little bit more to go, guys. Phew, finally. Thank you again. Come on, then. Get up quickly, our beauty. We were so worried about you. You don't know how scared I was. I didn't expect my sister to do that. We thought you two had been taken prisoner. So we searched everything we could. Let her lie here then. She deserves it for what she did. I agree. This is the wrong way to treat people. Then what are we doing today? We said we'd spend time together. Gotta ask Pomni then, because I'm ready anytime. Our beauty, what's our plan of action? We realize this is a bad situation, but we would love to spend time with you. We can go for a walk or stay at 
someone's house. You saved my life and I realized you were the only ones I needed. Give me time to shower and come to my house. I'll be waiting for you. Of course, we'd love to come. Then come back in two hours and I'll be waiting for you in my room. Wow, that's cool. I think we'll definitely have a great time together today. I'm so looking forward to this moment when we get to her, Mikey. I'm so glad we were able to save her. It worked out just fine. And now no one can stop us from being with her. Then we need to do something while she does her thing. The main thing is, let's just get out of this hospital away from the crazy nurse and go for a walk. Okay, Mikey, I'll take it, and then we'll spend time with the hottie. That's just awesome. Hey, guys. Mikey and I and my girlfriend went to the country house to relax and have fun. Hey, JJ, hurry up and show me. I'm going to jump in the pool. Come on, Mikey, I'm watching. What's so beautiful about it? Just plunged into the water. You just don't understand anything. That's why you don't see the beauty. Enough of this. What do we do next? I would go to the house and eat something. Not a bad idea, especially since I was getting a little hungry, too. That's right. I'll just cook you something. How timely and perfect everything came together. I agree completely. I was just thinking about it, and already they are calling for food. Wonderful. My favorite girl always knows what we want. It's true. You're lucky to have her. You'll still have time to talk. Hurry up and get inside. Yes, of course. We have to eat quick so we can still have time to play and have fun. We're gonna make it, JJ, don't worry. There's no point in stretching your time to eat anyway. You just have to do it quickly. So stop standing on the doorstep and come in and sit at the table. Okay, we're here. I wonder what my girlfriend has cooked for us. I'm sure something delicious. The package came in. To make it delicious, I'm going to get the mushrooms now and cook them for you. Great idea. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to it. I haven't eaten mushrooms in a long time. It's all about cooking them well to make them tasty. That's right. I think my girlfriend can handle it. I don't doubt it. That's why I'm waiting. Soon enough. So where's my package? I'm coming. Hurry up. I'll give it to you. Hi, thank you so much. Did the good mushrooms arrive? Of course, the best ones. You'll eat with gusto. Then I'm happy to take them from you. Thanks again for bringing them over. I'm sure you won't regret it. Although you might regret it a little bit. But that's something you don't want to know right now. God, I'm drooling already. I'm so hungry. That's true, but I think your girlfriend's on her way. All right, guys, I got the mushrooms. The girl said they are delicious and we won't regret it. That's great. Then let's eat soon. I can't wait any longer. And now I'll make it quick and you'll eat. How I like to spend time in the country house. It's a wonderful atmosphere. Now you need to eat and you'll be even happier. It's true. Thank you so much, dear. You're welcome. Enjoy. Let me know how you liked it. Mikey seems to have eaten it all already. What do you think, buddy? It's delicious, but I think I'm starting to feel a a little underwhelmed. Oh, I'm very sick. I think I've been poisoned. Oh my God, you didn't cook them well? No, definitely not. These must not be the freshest mushrooms we've gotten. Good thing I didn't get to eat as fast as Mikey did. But Mikey needs to lie down and rest. Maybe it's not poisoning. That's right. I'll walk him out and help him if he needs it. Mikey, wait, please tell me. What do you feel inside you? I'll just walk you out and open the door. Very strange, JJ. I can't describe it. I just need to lie down. Yeah, sure. Let me walk you out and put you to bed. I can walk myself, JJ. I'm not that bad. I'll check it out anyway. God, how did this happen? Don't be mad at my girlfriend. I'm sure she didn't mean to do it. I understand, JJ. It's sad we're not gonna have fun tonight. I don't think we would have made it in time anyway because the sun is already starting to set, so don't feel bad. Then I'll go to bed and hope I feel better. Good for you, Mikey. Get some rest. I'm gonna go to bed now, too. JJ, how's Mikey? Is he feeling any better? He went to sleep. Says he's not very good. Okay, you get some sleep, too. I will, just in case I can help Mikey if he asks. Well done, my love. Everybody go on vacation. I'm sorry to hear about Mikey. Hopefully it won't be anything serious and we'll have a fun time tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to go to bed. Oh my God, what's going on inside of me? I don't understand. I kind of don't feel too bad, but it's like something is about to come out of me. I won't wake up, JJ. I'll deal with it. Oh no, that's it. Something's about to come out. God, why do I have to do this? I have to go to the bathroom fast. Oh no, oh no, no. God, I've become a monster, but I can control myself for now. I gotta get out of here before I hurt my friend. But I feel like I'm about to lose control of my anger. I want to go on a killing spree. Now everyone is going to get a punch from me. Phew, <laughs> time for me to wake up already. I slept well. Oh no, where's Mikey? Is he awake or something? 
Wait, what happened to the window? I don't understand anything. Why isn't Mikey here and my window is completely broken? Maybe someone stole him? He couldn't have just run out there on his own, could he? I have to think of something soon. Gotta tell my favorite girl about it soon. Honey, Mikey's missing. Oh no, my girlfriend's missing too. What the hell happened here while I was sleeping? I really hope they're all downstairs. Thank God my girlfriend's here. Maybe she knows what happened with Mikey in the window. But she's watching the cartoon like it's nothing. Honey, have have you seen Mikey? Uh, no, I thought you were asleep. We have bad news. Mikey's missing and a window's broken in our room. What? How could this happen? If I had known that, I wouldn't have approached you with questions. But I woke up and I didn't know why Mikey was gone or why the window was broken. This does seem really weird because I haven't seen Mikey at all today. But the window is broken in a very strange way. It's definitely something abnormal. I'm going to call the police. There's no other way to handle this situation. I totally agree with you. It's the right decision. We need to figure out how the window broke like that and where Mikey is. A few moments later. Prepare yourselves, nasty residents! You're about to be in a lot of pain! There's no point in running and hiding. I'll catch you all and eat you anyway. Don't make it hard for me. Just come all to me. I'm very hungry. I need to find a beautiful girl to take her in. There she is. Perfect for taking hostages. Don't yell like that. I don't like it. Then let me go. Don't touch me, monster. No, I won't let you go. I need you. I want to stretch the pleasure. A few minutes later. We should go meet the cops and explain all this to them. I hope they get here as soon as possible. It's true. Every minute could cost Mikey's life. But there are still no police. No, I was wrong. There's a car coming. We need to open the gate soon so they can come in here and leave their car. Do it, JJ. I'll close the gate and wait for you. Okay, honey. I've already done it. The car will be here in a minute and we'll talk. I really hope the police officer can help make sense of the situation. Hello, what's your problem? I woke up and saw my window broken, but even worse, my friend Mikey was missing. I got it. And you obviously don't know where he is? Of course, then we wouldn't have called you. Makes sense. Okay, now we're going to deal with everything. Wait, I think I have a phone call. I'm listening. What? Someone's killing the residents? I think it might have something to do with Mikey. You need to go there together and see what's going on. It's true. This killer may have kidnapped Mikey and is holding him hostage. Good luck, JJ. The main thing is that Mikey is alive and we can handle the rest. Now it's time to head out and help. One hour later. I'm pretty sure Mikey's connected to this whole thing. Oh no, there's the victim of this killer lying there. Oh my God, that's awful. We've got to find out what happened here. Did you call an ambulance for him? What's the point if the nurse was stolen? Oh my God. Did you see who that is? It's some big green monster. Did you see where he might have gone? Of course not. He was yelling about eating us, and I just ran to hide. We must find him immediately and save innocent people. I can help you. I have a rough idea where he might have gone. That's great, but what do we do with this resident? I think they can help him. The main thing is to save the nurse. Then we'd better run to where the resident is pointing. I hope Mikey's alive there, too. This horrible monster was heading towards this abandoned house right here. No idea where else he could have gone unless it's here. Thank you so much. This house looks like a place where a horrible monster lives. You can go on your own. I'm not going in there. You can stop this horrible monster. The resident chickened out, but that's not surprising. Here's your crossbow, JJ. I think it'll help you on defense. It's great. I feel so much calmer that way. Then let's go in and see if he's there. All right, don't chicken out. I can already see some skeletons lying around. Me too, JJ, but it's like that monster isn't here. Unfortunately, yes. There's only people he's already eaten. You should see what's upstairs, JJ. Maybe he's hiding in there somewhere. Now I'm going to try to pass this challenge and see what's out there. Take your time, JJ. You can do it. Just a few more jumps and I'll be there. Well done, JJ. You did it. What is there? Let me see. Oh my god, there's some weird drawings and symbols. And there's a picture of the mushroom my girlfriend got. Oh no, I think I'm starting to realize something. Apparently that monster is Mikey. JJ, there's a monster in the cave. God, gotta get down there and move quickly. That huge green monster in there, he's taunting us nurse. Then we need to get over there soon and help her. The important thing is that she's alive. We can save her in time. It's all cobwebs and blood in there, JJ. We need to be very careful. I see everything. I'll try to make the monster come out after me. We'll go together, JJ. We need to stick together. God, this all looks so scary. How bloodthirsty that monster is. It's true. We have to deal with him or he'll kill the whole village. I think you'd better stay here. I'll distract the monster and we'll attack it together. All right, JJ. Just be careful and get away from him fast. I'm gonna make it right. It's horrible. There's rivers of blood. Gotta get a crossbow. Hopefully that can stop the monster. Oh no, here comes the nurse along with that green monster. You insolent, bloodthirsty monster. Get your filthy paws off her. 
I'm gonna eat you in little pieces. Wait, who's talking? It's me, monster. Look what I got. JJ, I didn't kill you right away, but I'm definitely gonna kill you now. I knew it was you who took Mikey's body. There's no Mikey. It's just me, and I'm ready to kill you all. Run fast, JJ. I got your back. Thank you so much. That monster is Mikey. Some mushrooms made him like that. Do you have any potion that can help him turn into a human? I'll have to see what I have. I think something is definitely there for that. Then hurry up and take this and help him. It's my friend Mikey, who I lost today. Okay, just cover me, please. Sure, just get it. I'll kill whoever comes near me. Throw it quickly. Oh my god, what? Am I human? Jesus, Mikey, I finally got to see you. I didn't realize until the end that you were a monster. I remember seeing you at night and running away. You scared everyone. Thank god you're normal now. Are you sure he's not a danger to us now? Yes, of course. You put your gun away, please. It's no longer needed. Right, sorry about that. The important thing is that it's all over now and Mikey's a regular person now. That's true, but I'm sorry I scared everyone so much. Everyone realizes it wasn't you. It was the mushrooms that did this to you. Go home, guys. We'll figure out what's in here. Yes, of course. Especially since I'm really tired today. Too many nerves. Ten hours later. Hey guys, Mikey and I are walking around the village and doing our usual things. We just go out and have fun, nothing out of the ordinary. We should head for home now, we've seen all we can see. It's true, there's nothing interesting here. We should find something to do, it's getting boring. Follow me, I don't think we're gonna find anything interesting today. Then what are we gonna do with you, just go home? What else do you have to offer? I don't know, I thought you had something to offer. Look at the sun, it's almost gone. Soon it will be dark and there will be nothing to do. You're right, Mikey, I can see. It. Then shall we say goodbye and go home? Yes, JJ, that is correct. We'll see you around. We'll meet again tomorrow and have fun. Okay, then you can pick me up tomorrow. All right, JJ, we'll do it. Bye. Bye, Mikey. See ya. Unfortunately, didn't get to show you all the fun that could have been had, but tomorrow will definitely be different. For now, I'm just gonna go home, lie down for a while, rest and sleep. Wow, who's that hottie coming? That's a very pretty nurse. I think it's an opportunity not to be missed and I should run up to meet her. That's what I'm gonna do. The main thing is not to worry and make everything beautiful. Hey girl, hello, what are you doing here? I'm trying to figure out how to get home by bus. It's all mapped out. You just have to figure out which way to go and you'll get there. I just don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go. And actually, I don't understand how such a pretty girl can get around on buses. Such beautiful legs shouldn't have to strain so much. And you are very handsome and charismatic. I love it. I'm only telling the truth to a girl whose beauty I've seen from afar. It's true, I am beautiful, but you are also wonderful externally and I'm sure internally. It's really nice to hear such words from you. You deserve it, pretty boy. Nice walk with JJ today. All that's left is to get home and go rest. I'm close now. Jeez, how am I supposed to deal with this payment? What else do I have to do? A few meters to go and I'm already in my house. Well, wait, who's standing over there? Who is this pretty girl? She's alone and there's no one around. She looks absolutely amazing. I really want to go over and meet her. As long as I don't get rejected. As usual. Wow, what a figure. I've never met such beautiful girls. I have to do everything I can to make us a couple. I'd be the envy of anyone if she became my love. Hey girl, hello. What are you doing alone at this late hour? The next day. Ooh, it's morning. Time to wake up because it's a great day. I'm supposed to have Mikey over today. I gotta tell him what kind of girl I met last night. The three of us should definitely get together and get to know each other. All the more reason for Mikey to come to me. Only he's awake this early in the morning. I'm very happy about that. I really wanted to see him as soon as possible and share the news. Time to open up, my friend. Hey, Mikey. JJ, hey, I have some news for you. I met this beautiful girl on my way home yesterday. Is that right? You won't believe believe it. I met a very beautiful girl on my way home too. Oh my god, we were so lucky last night. I think we owe it to the four of us to get to know each other. That's a great idea. I wanted you to meet my girlfriend. I didn't realize you had one too. Then what are we going to do with you today? Do you have any ideas? We need to meet in some nice surroundings and the four of us spend some time together. Then we can go to a restaurant. They have a very nice atmosphere and very good food. That's right, Mikey. That's a great idea. We can have a good time there, I'm sure. Then let's Let's pack up and go there together, inviting our ladies.
Hades. All right, Mikey. Then run home, and then you come and we'll go there. Wait for me, JJ. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Sure, Mikey. Just make it quick, please. I'll be there soon. I'm a little surprised that Mikey got a girlfriend, too. But I'm just glad he did, because he was always getting turned down by girls. Now I need to get organized and prepared for a meeting like this. It's a bit exciting, but I think it will go great. I just have to do it quickly, so no one has to wait for me alone. Just what should I wear? Three hours later. We've already arrived at the restaurant with Mikey and are waiting for our lovely ladies to join us. So anxious to start eating already. Everything smells so appetizing. That's true, but we have to wait for the girls or it won't look pretty. But unfortunately for us, they are late and we have to sit and endure. It's business as usual. The girls must be well prepared for the meeting. But they have no idea how delicious everything is here. And how hard it is for us to sit here. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to take a little walk. Go to the restroom. Okay. Okay, JJ, I'll sit and wait for our ladies. Great, if you need anything, be sure to call me. Sure, JJ, no problem. But don't take too long yourself. Of course, I'm literally there and right back. I can't sit here and smell this food anymore. It's too good. I'd better just go to the bathroom, wash up and come back. Hopefully the ladies will be here by now. I think the plan is great. Oh, who's that standing there? Some lady's washing her face. Okay, I'm not paying attention to her. Although she has looked attractive for a long time. Wow, man. What are you standing there looking at? Ah, no. I just came to go to the bathroom and I was thinking, that's why I was standing there. Okay, because I thought you were going to look at me. No, absolutely not. It's just that I wanted to wash my face and you took up space. Didn't you like me? Why don't you want to look at me so badly? I'm so beautiful and you're a great match for me. I'm sorry, but I already have my girlfriend and I can't do this. But she's not here, is she? She won't know anything and then you'll tell her everything. Let's go in there together and talk about you and me. What? No, I won't do it. It's bad. What's wrong with that? We'll just spend some time getting to know each other. No, absolutely not. Stop offering me that. Why? Don't you like me? You just need to relax. No, I gotta go. I can't stay here that long. You're kind of weird, kid. Oh my God, that's awful. I can't believe she tried to make a move on me. I've never seen anything like it. Mikey, no one's here yet? No, JJ, I'm gonna starve to death. God, how can it take so long to walk? I just wanna eat already. I guess if no one's here in five minutes, We'll eat. I totally agree with you. I don't think the girls should be offended. They'll understand, I'm sure. Oh, JJ, my girlfriend's finally here. Really? It's finally happening. Oh, no, it's that girl from the bathroom. Hey, Mikey, sorry I'm a little late. It's okay. The important thing is that you're finally here. When's my girlfriend coming over? We're just here to meet girls. This is my friend JJ. He's waiting for his girlfriend, too. Seriously? That's your friend? Seriously? That's your friend? Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? No, I just thought it was just gonna be the two of us. We just thought we'd have a little surprise. Nice to meet you, JJ. Uh, yeah, me too. Let's sit and eat and chat about everything then. The important thing is that we have fun because I'm excited to meet JJ and his girlfriend. I'm happy about that too. She should be here soon. Great, then the three of us can do something in the meantime. Yeah, I agree too. Let's hear what Mikey's girlfriend does. I don't have much to tell. I'm just a normal girl who likes to enjoy life. That's great. I think JJ and I do as well. I think every person likes to do that, don't you? The most important thing to me is that everything in the county is fun. JJ, I think your girlfriend's coming, no? Yeah, that's right. She's finally here. My beautiful girl looking just wonderful. Hey, honey, we're here. Hurry up and come to us. JJ, I see you. I'm coming. And now I'll introduce you to my favorite girl. It's really good to see you. Sorry I'm late. It's not a big deal. It's Mikey and his girlfriend. What? That witch is Mikey's girlfriend? And this nurse is JJ's girlfriend? What are you doing here? Get out of here. I don't get it. Do you two know each other? This is my ex-friend who ruined my life. It's not my fault your ex-boyfriend looked at me. Jesus, Mikey. What are we going to do now? I don't know, JJ. They must be in a big fight. Do you think finding a new boyfriend is going to make your life better? My life is perfect when you're not in it, witch. And you be afraid I'll steal your boyfriend again? I'm going to rip your hair out right now. I'll do it myself so I don't have to see you. Just get out of here and stay out of my way. But you're a nuisance, so you'd better leave now. What? Jesus, we got kicked out of the restaurant and they still keep yelling at each other and fighting. What are we gonna do with you now, Mikey? Say something. I don't know, JJ, they're kind of weird. They don't even pay attention to us. They just yell and that's all. Exactly trying to settle some of their old disputes, but they forgot about us. Maybe we should forget about them and go do our own thing, because the two of them will be standing around arguing for a long time to come. Let's go play on the computer and forget about those girls. It's a shame, of course. My girlfriend is very pretty and cool, but they really are very weird. We'll find beautiful and normal girls. Forget 
it. I agree, Mikey. Let's go home. That's great. I'm glad. You're always trying to prove to me that you're cooler than me because that's the way it is. And all your boyfriends are always running to me. Because they're awful, JJ would never pay attention to you. Now I'm going to go to his house and prove to you that I'm cooler and JJ will be with me. He won't even open the door when he sees how ugly you are. You'll cry again later. She seriously went to do this? God, I can't let her do this and take JJ back to her place. I'm going to go after her too and show that JJ will choose me over her. Two hours later. Come on, Mikey, hit it hard. You're about to lose. No, JJ, I almost won it, and you started yelling and knocked me down. Just don't say no and don't try to blame me. Better play again and win at last. Let's just take a break, because my eyes are a little sore. Whoa, who's here to see us? Maybe it's our girls who have come to make peace with us. That's kind of weird. Did they fight for so long to get here so quickly? Well, who else could it be? Let's go open it and see. I'm thinking about not opening it at all. No, don't do that. Maybe they really want to make up. Then open it. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm not here to see you. Get out of my way. Then why did you come? To the most handsome guy in this village. JJ, I'm so glad you're here. What? But you're supposed to be with Mikey. I liked you right away. I don't need Mikey. But it's wrong to say that. He's actually my friend and he's in this room. I hate that you treated me like that. I loved you. What? What? Are you talking to me? Get out of my way, please, and go mind your own business. What? You heard right. You can go, Mikey. Stop doing that already. I don't like it at all. I'm sorry, JJ. I just don't want anyone to stop us from loving each other. But I'm not doing it anyway. Just relax and look at me. You came here after all, and you're trying to steal my boyfriend from me? And you really think a great guy would look at you? Jesus, enough with the competition. What are you two doing? Mikey and I are shocked. I just love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. JJ will be with me. No, he's already picked me. Say something, JJ. Who are you picking? God, I feel so bad for my friend. I don't want to choose anyone. You have to choose someone. Just be with me. No, JJ, I'm so much better than all the girls. Stop. Stop coming up to me and making me choose. I'm not picking any of you. You're horrible. Figure out your own problems better. My friend Mikey is more important than all of you put together. What? You mean we're ugly? And you don't want to choose anyone from such two beautiful girls. He's not worthy of the two of us fighting over him. Get out of here now. You're cute, but your character is disgusting. But you look like a freak and we were just messing with you. All right, whatever you say. Just go away and don't come here again. Gladly. You're just a waste of time. I agree. Don't come crawling back on your knees to apologize. Nobody wants you. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. Thank you so much, JJ, for turning those two girls down. No need to thank me, Mikey. I'll never trade you. I am very happy to have such a friend. Let's go back to playing computer games. I agree, Mikey. Let's forget these two girls like a bad dream. I agree, too. You better watch me go through this horrible boss right now. I believe you can do it. Ten hours later. Mikey and I are staying home and just having fun like we usually do. That's right. But for now, we decided to just eat and relax a bit. We have lots of goodies here. We already ate, Mikey. I told you before I was full. Then let's get up from the table and offer me something interesting that we won't be bored doing. We need to sort things out of boxes, but I don't think we feel like doing that right now. You'll definitely be bored doing all this with me now. Yes, JJ. So let's solve this box problem later. There's nothing in there that we need right now anyway. We've been putting this off constantly for two months now. Someday you and I will do it. But I want to do it now. The guys seem to be fighting a bit again as a couple, but I feel even better about it. Now I can safely do what I wanted to do. They won't see anything anyway, but then when they want to eat, they will definitely taste good, but then they will feel very bad. Many people have already been affected by this potion, but not a single person has survived. I think they deserved that fate. Now I have to run away quickly. I'm willing to do what you want if we take time to eat. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes. I need to build up some more extra strength to do the boring and hard work. Well, go eat what you want. There's no other way to get you to do the right thing. Although I really don't see what's so hard about taking one hour of time to take the boxes apart, it's not that long and it's not hard. I hope you've started eating already. Yes, JJ. And the cookies are surprisingly much tastier the second time you eat them. Don't you think it's weird that the cookies are making bubbles? It's never happened before. Yeah, JJ. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm getting really sick. Mikey, you look terrible. Why is that? I think I'm done. Oh no, Mikey, please no. What happened to those cookies? Why did Mikey get so bad and now he's unconscious? He needs medical attention. 
attention. I can't help him myself, and that's why I have to get a doctor here quickly. I hope they can help Mikey. I don't want my friend to die so early. I really hope the doctor can come quickly and save him. I love it when I can have some quiet time to relax in peace for a while. But it seems like someone needs me around here again. Mikey's dying. Please come over. Oh my god, what? I shouldn't let him die. There's no time to find out what happened. I just need to take a few things I need with me and go straight to their house to help Mikey. I can't let my patient die. I have an obligation to do quickly and everything possible so Mikey can live again. Wait for me, guys. I'm coming. 12 seconds later. Mikey has completely stopped responding and I don't even know if the doctor will help if he comes. But I'm trying not to give up hope. The important thing is that the doctor comes soon. JJ, open the door for me and let me in. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad the doctor came. I didn't think she would be so quick. I'm already doing this. JJ, what happened and why is Mikey not feeling well? He was just eating cookies and he suddenly got sick from them. Oh no, it could be dangerous food poisoning. I don't know why that happened. I ate those cookies too, but I don't feel bad. He is really very ill indeed and in a terrible state. I really don't know what's wrong, but I noticed bubbles on these cookies. It's definitely a terrible poisoning, and I have to get him to the hospital quickly. I can't help him here. Please do anything, but don't let my friend die. I'm very afraid of losing him. I'll do everything I can, I promise you, JJ. I can't just sit at home while my friend is on the brink of life and death. I have an obligation to go with them to the hospital and make sure he lives. And if there's a sudden need for my help, I'll definitely help in any way I can. Mikey has already been put in a room and three doctors are trying to do something to help Mikey. I don't see Mikey getting better yet, but the doctors told me not to worry and everything will work out. I wish I could hear them talking, but they gave me confidence that Mikey would survive and I stopped crying. I just believe. Do you guys think Mikey's gonna make it or not? I hope you believe too, and each of you think Mikey will be better off. But I don't understand what they have going on there, although I can see that Mikey is still unconscious. Oh wow, he opened his eyes and stood up. Did he really? He survived? Everyone started cheering and jumping. That means Mikey definitely survived and he's okay, God. I'm so happy about that. I want to see and interact with him soon. I'm sure it was our faith in him that helped Mikey survive that horrible poisoning. I'm incredibly happy. Mikey, how are you feeling? I'm perfectly healthy. This is all thanks to a wonderful doctor. I'm grateful to all of you that I'm alive and can move on. Now you can safely go home and rest afterwards. Guys, I apologize for distracting you, but there's an important man waiting for you three outside. Wow, I wonder who that is. And I wonder what he wants from us. And I'm curious too. Let's not waste time then and go straight to see who has arrived and what they want from us. Maybe it has something to do with your salvation story. Show us where this man is already. He's outside. I'll take you to him. Now I'm really wondering who such an important person came here to visit us. Here, the mayor of the city, these guys. Thank you so much for this. Wow, the mayor of the city is here to see us. I'm wondering why us. I'm here to give you a new car for the services of your hospital. Everyone thinks you've deserved it for a long time. Wow, now our doctors can get there faster. That's right, especially since TV will and really deserve to get one. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for this. It really is a wonderful gift. Thank you for doing this, Mayor. Use it to your advantage and continue to save people as well. The car will help you do it faster and better. This is the first time I've ever seen a city mayor personally come and give gifts like this. I'm incredibly proud of TV Woman. I think the job's going to go a lot easier for you, TV Woman. You won't have to run on foot all the time. Yeah, it's true. And the car is fairly new and just wonderful. Doctors' lives will be so much better with it. I suggest we go for a ride in this new car together. Would you mind coming along for the ride with us, Mikey? JJ, I'm the driver of this car now because I've decided that I want to save people's lives now too. Now I'm a doctor too, and I'm going to help everyone. Wow, Mikey, I'm very happy for you. Now take me and TV Woman for a ride in your own new car. Sure, guys, get in the back and we'll drive around town. I'm so glad you'll be on the same team now. You will ride together and rescue all the residents of our town. That's true, JJ. But now I want to take a little vacation in the car with you. Wow, of course I agree. I will definitely sit down with you too. TV Woman seems to like me, and now my day is getting much better. I am very happy that Mikey is alive and I will now be around the hottie. And I'm happy about it. 
So don't waste your time and come closer to me. I can't refuse you. I'm sure the two of us will be very nice and comfortable here. And I'm glad you're so excited to spend time with me. Stop being distracted, JJ. Just come to me and be by my side the whole time. Mikey, just go where you want to go and try out the car. I don't mind that at all. I need to learn to drive fast and carefully so that everyone with health problems will live. That's it, JJ. Mikey will definitely ignore us and we can be together in peace. Then I'll sit closer to you and enjoy you. I'm very happy about that. Get ready. We'll be with our patient shortly. 86-year-old grandfather must have eaten something wrong. Prepare a solution and a mixture for treatment. We're coming up. This way, please. I'm the one who called you. I'm very sick. Why are you like this, Grandpa? Here's some medicine, drink it, and you'll feel better. Thank you so much. Two hours later. Now we've helped a man. When's our lunch break? I don't know, JJ. We don't have time for breaks. Oh, well, come on. Hey, guys. We did a good job. Let's take a little break. Ha ha. I guess there are breaks after all. Come on out. Why are you sitting there? My legs refuse to sit in one position for that long. Stop crying, JJ. We're doctors after all. Well, you speak for yourself. I didn't get into this mess. Boys, come on. You better tell me what we're going to do. JJ, let's go home and do something. Let's go home. Let's go for a walk. I'd rather stay home too. Come on, let's go. Let's not just stand here. Let's show our new co-worker where we live. I'd love to see that. Come on, come on, let's go. You're gonna drive me crazy. I wish you'd come right out and argue with me. I can still change my mind, Mikey. Don't threaten me, JJ. Well, welcome to our shack. What a big and beautiful home you have. It's also so clean and comfy in here. Let's go straight to the second floor. We'll show you a little bit of how we live. This is my favorite place, trampoline floor. While Mikey's being a baby around here, I'll show you our rooms. Show me, I'm very interested. This part of the room is where Mikey sleeps. It's his corner, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, I sleep here. I have a very comfortable bed. All right, let's move on. And this is where my bed and my computer are. It's so cool here. Maybe you could invite me to a pajama party sometime. Of course, even today. Do you have someone drawing? A little hobby that helps with distractions. What other interesting things do you have in such a large house? We have a library on the first floor, which is in the dining room. It's the center room in our house. It's really cool. Wow, that really does look just incredible. Yes, it really is one of the best rooms. We have our own cellar with drinks. Wow, that really does look just incredible. Let's watch some cartoons. They're about to start. Well, let's take a little break from today's Dr. Rush and Relax a little. It's been missing all day. Oh, I've been daydreaming about this moment for half a day. Sitting on a comfortable couch and not thinking about anything. I know what you mean. The car seat is very uncomfortable. Okay, let's sit back and just watch cartoons. The next day. Hey guys, Mikey and I went outside for a walk because we're bored of sitting at home. Hey, all you guys. We're trying to find something interesting to do because it's impossible to play on the computer. Impossible not because someone forbids us, but because we're sick of it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, JJ, look what the ambulance is doing here. Oh my God, something must have happened. We need to offer help. I'm on my way over there. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. So you're just filling up the car? Yeah, guys, of course. Nothing's wrong, don't worry. But I'm so glad you saw the car and ran to help. Of course we can't do it any other way, especially with such a beautiful nurse here. Wow, really? You're not kidding? No, of course not. What kind of jokes are we talking about? Just look into my eyes and see how I look at you. That's very sweetly said. I'm glad to hear such words from such a handsome boy. Maybe then you won't insult me and give me your phone number, and I'll be sure to call you. I probably won't even think about it because I love the idea. That's great. I'll be sure to call you when I get home, beautiful nurse. Okay, I'm just finishing work soon and wouldn't mind spending time together. That's great. Don't think I'm not the kind of guy who just forgets you. I really liked you. You can prove it to me later. In the meantime, you go about your business, and I'll go about mine. All right, see you, beautiful. Wow, JJ, how lucky you are. I'm really glad you were able to get her number. It's true, Mikey. I've never met such beautiful girls. I'm shocked she liked me right away. I will really look forward to meeting her. Hopefully, it will be soon. Let's go for a little more walk, then, so you can spend some quality time with her later. Sure, Mikey, but let's Let's go in the direction of the house or I'm afraid I won't see her. No problem, man. I get it and I'm glad you're so lucky. Thank you so much, Mikey. I'm glad I have a friend like you. It's nice to hear that. Hey, man, please wait. What? Who else is there? I saw the cutest guy in this village and couldn't pass by. 
Hi, how are you doing? And which one of us are you saying this to? Of course you are, handsome. I saw you walk by and I knew you were the one for me. How can you even question it? Is there anyone else beautiful here? Well, actually, I'm with a friend and he's quite handsome too. Okay, maybe that's true. But you're the one I fell in love with as soon as I saw you. Don't you want to tell me the same thing? What exactly do you want to hear? Did you like me? Do you want to go out with me? Honestly, no. Sorry. I already have the one I love. Are you seriously talking about this right now? He's telling the truth, but I really like you. Do you want to start dating me? We'll go in pairs, the four of us. I've never heard such rejections in my life. See who else you'll love. What? Well, I apologized and my friend was sympathetic to you. We'll see exactly who you apologize to and who you love later. God, she's weird, isn't she? She's talking in riddles and she didn't even answer you. Forget about her. All witches are a little weird. They have potions going on in their heads. That's a funny thing to say. Okay, let's go home. I have to call my nurse soon. Sure, JJ, no problem. Awesome. Three hours later. It's been a long time. I think my hottie is done working and I can call her. I'm a little worried. I don't want to seem stupid or pushy. I want everything to go well and I want to date this beautiful nurse. Okay, stop worrying. I'll just call and ask to meet up. Especially since she said herself that she liked me. Okay, I'm waiting. I really hope she answers. Who's calling? Hello? Hi, this is JJ who met you on the street today and asked for your number. Hey JJ, I'm glad you called me. I hope you're free by now and can find time to meet me. I'm still at work, but I'll be free pretty soon, so we can meet up somewhere. How about we eat at a restaurant and get to know each other better? I'd love to, JJ. Then an hour from now would be good for you? Yeah, JJ, I'll see you there in an hour. Great, I'd love to meet you. God, I'm so happy about this. She's very pleasant. I shouldn't have been worried at all. Now, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna meet my dream girl in an hour. The main thing is to continue to be normal and not act like a fool. Only I don't know what's best to wear, but I have time. That's good. I'm already at the restaurant and have ordered some very tasty dishes and am waiting for my nurse to get here. Hopefully it will come very soon and not have time for things to cool down. But overall, the place and the atmosphere here is great. And I really like it here. Ooh, there's my pretty girl here. JJ, you're already here. Yes, beautiful. I've already ordered all the entrees and have been waiting for you. I'm glad you're here. How wonderful you are, JJ. I'm in awe. Hurry up to plant and let's start eating while everything is still warm. You picked a great place and picked great food. Thank you so much for such a surprise. I really want you to be comfortable with me and have a memorable night. I think with company like that, I'll definitely remember this date. I'm very happy to hear that. Then let's eat a little and socialize and get to know each other. I agree, JJ. Because I really hope that you and I don't just see each other once and go our separate ways, but stay for a long time. Wow, very beautifully said. Bon appetit to you, beautiful. Thank you so much. Enjoy your appetite, too. Oh, my Do God. Like and JJ everything? seriously turned me down meal? and picked this nurse? This really hurts like. me, and I don't, don't see worry, how I'm JJ, any worse than her. Delicious. I definitely I won't just leave it at anything. that. And I will but do anything to have this handsome boy with me. I hate to see this. JJ is no match for that nurse at all. She's so ordinary compared to me. But I'm a witch for a reason. I know what I have to do to get him with me. After that, he'll come crawling back to me and talk about love for days and nights. What a pleasure it was to eat and walk with you, JJ. And I'm so glad we fit each other so well. Unfortunately, it's getting dark pretty soon, and I have to make it home in time. Wait, why would you go anywhere? Why don't you come over to my place and spend the night? Because I'm afraid you won't make it home in time anyway, and it will be dark already. Yes, JJ, you're right. The sun is already too low. I'd love to stay at your place. I'm really excited about this. We'll have time to spend more time and enjoy each other. Because I really don't want to let you go. That's really nice, JJ. All the more reason I'm excited excited to see the inside of your house. I think you'll be comfortable and convenient here, don't worry. Yeah, JJ, I can see how beautiful it is in here. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I'm almost finished with my potion that will help me get my JJ, and I'm sure it will work 100%. I know what I'm doing. I am very angry with this nurse, and I want JJ to forget her forever and love only me. That's it. My potion is completely ready. I did it on purpose so that the potion looks like water. JJ will definitely not be able to tell the difference and will accidentally drink it. Now all that's left to do is bring it to his house neatly. I can handle it for sure. So I came to his house, and he's already sleeping with that nurse. God, that's so disgusting. But that's okay. Let her enjoy it while she can. Soon JJ will run away from her to me. All he has to do is drink it. 
I'm purposely putting this here so he won't pass it by and accept it as plain water. All I have to do is wait until morning and open the door to JJ looking at me with loving eyes. But now I have to run away before anyone sees me. The next day. Oh my god, who's ringing the doorbell this early? And so loud and so often, they're going to wake up my beautiful girl. Good thing she didn't wake up as abruptly as I did. I have to run and open the door before she wakes up. Because it's too early for her to get up. Stop ringing the doorbell, I'm coming. Hey, JJ, hello. Let's go for a walk soon. No, Mikey, I can't. I've got my nurse sleeping. It's too early, but you can come in and we'll wait for her. Seriously? You guys are that serious already? Yeah, we're a couple together now. Hey, JJ, you awake already? Because I didn't see you in bed. Yes, love. It's just that my friend Mikey came to see me. Remember him? Yes, of course. The two of you came up to me in the street. Yeah, that's right. He suggests we go for a walk. The three of us can do it. Okay, just tell me where I can get a drink of water first. Look in the kitchen. It's definitely something there. It's great that you two are together. I'm happy for you. You're a very beautiful couple. Thank you, Mikey. We had a great time last night, and I realized she was the one for me. That's really cool. You've needed a girl like that for a long time, especially one this cool. Yeah, Mikey, I think so too. I'm definitely not letting her go, and I'll be with her. I love you. I only want to be with you. What? what? You, you talking, talking to, to me? me? Uh, I guess that's what was said to me after all. I just love her, and I want to go there sooner rather than later. What? I don't understand anything. Why did she say her? We need to figure out where she's going to go sooner rather than later. She stopped responding to me or you at all. Something weird happened. We can't lose sight of her, JJ. We need to see where she's going. And I think we can answer all the questions. That's a great idea, Mikey. I really hope it's some kind of joke, but I doubt it very much. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Hope so. I can't understand what happened to her that she just took off and ran into the swamp. I don't understand it yet either, but I have a hunch. You see this house? I think she's running that way. Yeah, you're right. Let's get over there. We need to find out why she's here and who she loves. She's already knocking on the door. Let's go faster. I'm almost there, Mikey. I'm about to find out what happened to my nurse. She's not responding to me, JJ. Darling, why did you come here? And she's not answering you either. I can't get my head around everything that's going on right now. There you are. Oh my God, what are you three doing here? Holy cow, you're the one who tried to hit on me on the street. What is this nurse doing here? I don't understand. I've come to you, my love. Jesus Christ, no, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. Come to me, sweetheart. And what was that just now? What are they doing in there now? Honestly, I don't get it myself, JJ. Apparently now my girlfriend left me for this witch, although I don't understand what this is all about. They're kind of weird. I agree with you. Why don't we just forget about it and go home and play on the computer? It's a shame to part with the nurse a bit. She was wonderful until she ran to the witch. There are plenty more beautiful girls in the world. And forget the nurse. You agree she's weird. I agree, Mikey. I don't want a girl who just ran out on me. I'm happy for you, JJ. Let the two of them continue to have fun in this house. Yeah, Mikey, the two of us are going to have so much more fun. Meanwhile, my favorite girl witch and I went out for a walk and to see the beautiful places of our village. I really enjoy spending time together on the walk, so I'm really glad we're together. Let's not waste our time and go for a walk. Yes, of course. I myself love spending time with you very much. I don't even care if we go out or just relax at home. I, on the contrary, love walking around and looking at all the pretty things. It's just a little different than lying at home. But the most important thing for me is to have you by my side. And everything else is secondary. Look at how great it is here. I'm really excited about it. I totally agree with you. You. Our village has transformed a lot lately. All the buildings are done very well and beautifully. Yeah, our architecture is cool now. Let's go see what's out there. It's very beautiful everywhere you go, JJ. We should think of somewhere we can go and hang out. For example, we can go to this building, see what's inside. What do you think of my idea? No, JJ, let's just keep walking. Uh, okay, never mind. But just walking around and watching can get boring. No, JJ, it can't be. If we get tired, we'll go somewhere and rest. But for now, let's just walk together. Good, of course. Wait, I I think I see something. A nurse in a tree rescuing a cat. I'll run and help her. She can't seem to get down. Now I'm gonna help this kind nurse who saves a kitten. Miss, do you need help? I can do that. Yeah, I can't go down. I need help. Stay there. I'll come up and help you. Just hurry up, please. I'm scared to stand here. It's okay. I'm right here. I'll help you down. Just follow me and
and everything will be okay. Okay, just take your time, please. I'm watching where you're going. Just a few more steps and you'll be on the ground. It's not so scary anymore, but just watch out for me. That's it. I'm already on the ground, so go down quietly and don't be afraid of anything. God, thank you so much for helping me. I was so scared of falling from there. Wow, you're welcome. I'm glad you're okay. Hope to see you again. What a nice girl. She also kissed me on the cheek. I'm very pleased that I helped her. I feel like some kind of hero a little bit. You did a great job, JJ. You didn't get scared and help the girl down. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. I knew right away that I had an obligation to help. Now walk me home, hero. Of course I'll do it. You don't even have to ask or beg for that. I'm excited about today's walk. Here we are at your house. Now you can safely go rest after that walk. Your house is certainly very big and beautiful. I love it. I purposely built it for myself so I could be comfortable here. Thank you so much for walking me home. You're welcome. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll be very excited about it, so I'll definitely be waiting for you to come. Good. I'm very happy about that. Bye. Bye, my main hero today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I'm very happy to have a girl like that, but I really want to go now to that nurse I helped today. I hope my witch doesn't suspect anything, but I really like that nurse and would love to talk to her again. So I need to get there fast and find her. Here I am running into the hospital. I think the nurse is right there. I hope I can find her and ask for her phone number so I can spend some time with her later. Even though I have a girlfriend, I can't forget this girl's beautiful smile and eyes, especially since she said she hoped to see me. Now this is where I need to find a nurse. Oh, my savior, what are you doing here? Why are you here? I'm here to have a little chat with you and pass the time. That's very cute, but I'm a little busy right now. It's no problem. Just give me your number and I'll be sure to see you later. Of of course, how could I say no to such a handsome and brave guy? It's really nice to hear that. I'm glad you say that about me. Now I'll text you my number then, and I'll definitely look forward to calling you. Just don't forget about me. I won't be able to forget about you for sure. I'll definitely call you. Look at you taking responsibility for your words. Don't even doubt it. So glad I got this beautiful nurse's number. I'm finishing up not too late, so if you want to, you can call me today. Okay, I got you, gorgeous. How wonderful it all turned out. Such little coincidences and my confidence allowed me to get the number of such a beautiful girl. Now I'm going home to rest. Two hours later. Even though I love watching cartoons, I can't help but call my lovely new acquaintance. Hey, it's JJ. Do you want to come over to my place? Yeah, sure. I'll be right there. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Very cool. Soon this gorgeous girl will come to my place to hang out. What? She's here so soon? I don't believe it. I'll find out who it is. Hey, JJ. Long time no see. You want to hang out? No, Mikey. I've got an important meeting with a girl today. Get out of my way. It's been so long since we've had fun together, hasn't it? We'll still have time to do it, but I'm busy today. Is she coming to see you? Yeah, Mikey. Please get out of here fast. But you have a witch girlfriend. Quiet. Hi. I didn't think you'd be here so soon. Am I interrupting something? No, of course not. Come inside. I'll see my friend off and I'll come to you. Mikey, get out of here, please. Don't make me angry. Okay, JJ. But know that you're wrong and you can't do that. God, he can be so nasty sometimes. But the important thing is that he's gone. You sure I'm not interrupting anything? Is everything okay? Yes, of course. Now I'm going to give you a little tour of my beautiful home. I noticed that you like to watch cartoons. Yeah, I watch it sometimes, but there's still a lot more on here for me. What a big and beautiful kitchen you have, JJ. Are you enjoying all this? Of course. I'm really excited to meet a great guy like you, JJ. And I'm glad to meet such a pretty girl. Later. I have to tell the witch what I just saw. JJ behaved in a very ugly and wrong way. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing here? JJ brought a nurse into his house. What? No way. I don't believe it. Let's go to him and you'll see for yourself. Now look carefully out the window and you'll understand. You're very beautiful. I'm so glad we met. It's all thanks to you. You weren't afraid to help me down from the tree. A girl like you shouldn't be in this situation. See? I told you. I had no reason to lie. I'm just in shock. How could JJ do that? Don't worry. We'll figure out a way to get back at him. I totally agree with you, Mikey. A few moments later. Bartender, can we please have something very tasty? Yes, of course. And what are your flavor preferences? Just give us something to suit your tastes. Yes, I agree with my lady. We'll have any kind of drink. Okay, then I'll give you my all-time favorite drink. Great. Thank you for bringing me. It's not a problem. I'd love to please you. Here are your drinks. Hope you enjoy it very much. Thanks so much. We'll give it a try now and be sure to give our opinions. Okay, I'll be waiting. 
frustrating. Wow, that really is a very nice flavor. It's true. I really enjoyed it a lot, too. Call me if you want another drink. Of course. Thank you so much. The bartender here is very nice, isn't he? I'm sorry. I think I have to go to the bathroom right now. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll wait for you. Oh, my God. My stomach is so tight. I don't know why. Maybe the drink wasn't fresh. It's a good thing there's a bathroom right next to me, or I'd be so embarrassed. I'm going to sit down now and hopefully feel very much better. I'll be away from you guys for a bit, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done with my business. In the meantime, you can give me a like. Five minutes later. Phew, that's it. I feel so much better. I'm very glad I didn't get poisoned and can get back to my hottie, because I've already missed her in the meantime. Hey, sweetheart, I'm here. Didn't you miss me? Oh, where is she? Wait, is that Mikey's voice? Oh my god, what's a witch doing here? for the nurse from me. And he didn't tell me anything. Jesus, what are you guys even doing here? Did you bring the witch here? Mikey did the right thing. But why don't we spend time without him? Uh, hold on, what? Why don't the three of us just go to your place? Mikey's definitely out of it. And I'm sure the three of us will be great. Wow, of course I agree. I won't even think about it. And you, traitor, you're on your own now. JJ, why would you do that? Wait for me, please. I don't want to stay with that rat. I hope you regret your choice. Never in my life. I'll be spending time with two beautiful ladies. This is the best thing that could have happened to me. So cool. We're almost there, JJ. It's so great that the three of us got together. It's true. You have no idea how happy I am. Follow us then, JJ. We'll go straight upstairs. They also came up with some kind of surprise for me. Wow. I really hope it's not a dream because I don't believe it's real. JJ, keep up with us. Run after us. We're waiting for you, handsome. Don't make us wait so long for you. Of course. Please forgive me, lovely ladies. I'm already here. I just don't understand what you've come up with and why you dragged me here. You're sure to love it with us. You definitely won't regret it. Look how lucky I am. I really hope you're happy for me. Now I'm going to enjoy my time. Don't you want to get ready to spend time with us? I'm always up for it. Let's get in my room already, lovely ladies. Take a shower first. We want you to be fresh. Yes, of course. For your sake, it's not hard for me to do it. Just hurry up so we don't have to wait too long for you. I'll make it as quick as possible. I myself can't wait to spend time with these two gorgeous girls. How good I'm going to feel soon. I'm the happiest man on the planet. The treatments are done. Now I can finally go to them. Girls, I'm on my way to you. I'm ready. Can we go to my room together now? Wait, JJ. Don't be in such a hurry. We'd also get something to eat first because we're really hungry. Yes, I totally agree. Bring us something over here, please. God, why do you keep dragging this out? All right, I'll get it for you right away. How many demands these girls have, it's horrible. But okay, I should be calm. It takes a little work to get a good rest. I should get them something nutritious. Great, I've got plenty of steaks. This will be great for a nice meal. Hopefully after that, they won't need anything more and we'll go to my room. Girls, I brought you some very tasty steaks. You won't be hungry afterwards. Thank you so much, JJ. You are very sweet to us. Now we're ready to go. Let's not waste any more time, JJ. Finally, I'm very happy about it. Thank you so much for this. We've got one game for you. Wow, what's the game? Get on the bed, JJ, and you'll figure it out. I love games like this. I'd love to do what you want. Now we're going to tie you up in bed, and we're going to have a really good time together. Okay, now I'll tie it here too, and it's done. That's it. You've done what you wanted to do. What do we do now? Now you, silly, sit here and we'll go about our business. Did he really think we'd fall for a guy like him? So you were just messing with me? Untie me! No, now you'll be chained here for your actions. And here's a potion to make it fun for you. Please don't. I've realized my mistake. Let me go. Oh my god, they made this up on purpose to mess with me. And I was a stupid to believe it. Oh, Mikey, man, I'm so glad you came. Please set me free. Those stupid girls have me chained up. I'm so sorry I left you there all alone. You are a wonderful person. I'm glad you forgave me and decided to set me free. Thank you again. Hey, wait, why aren't you talking to me? Where are you going? Apparently, he still resents me for what I did to him. But I can understand that. Just where are those two girls who decided to play a prank on me. I can see them. The two of them standing there having fun with what they've done. What? Mikey went to them, did he? Now the three of us can go have fun and let the insolent liar sit on the toilet. I totally agree with you. He is no longer my friend. Tell me later if you had fun. God, they just did it all on purpose and I was left all alone. Very sad that it turned out this way, but it was my own fault. I wanted everything and because of that, I lost everyone. But the only thing I don't get is what kind of potion was thrown at me? Oh my God. God, now I get it. I have to go to the bathroom now. I hate all of them. What was that all about? And now I have to sit on the toilet again. Apparently the witch at the bar did her best for that too.